Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Excuse me. Seems like we're live. Fantastic. Let's continue with space exploration. Wherein I have done my homework a little bit. Uh, I believe we no longer have any um, regular locomotives on the surface of Hagen, except for perhaps one, which is... Oh, not the one I was thinking of, but that I was correct nonetheless. This is the concrete train, which really doesn't need to be that fast. Um, so I've replaced all of the trains with space trains, both on Hagen's surface and on Hagen orbit. Um, that was not a small task to replace all of these individual resource trains with vanilla schedules, with uh, the upgraded trains whereby we don't just need to swap out the locomotives and the cargo wagons but also the fluid wagons, which I had to make a temporary stop for to swap the fluids sometimes. Um, but also, also, each individual locomotive needs to have uh, seven advanced electrical engines and five big portable imosite solar panels into it to complete the upgrade properly. Um, so that we get more speed and more fuel efficiency. Uh, comparatively, replacing the refueling system with space train power packs as opposed to solid rocket fuel was not that big of a task. Um, although it did take, of course, quite a lot of batteries to saturate the whole thing. But that said, it's, uh, it's done now. Asandanima, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did I change my mic? I didn't. I just finished my weekly exercise, basically. I'm gonna need a little bit to recover properly. I've also had kind of a perpetual cough thing going on for a little while. Uh, it's taking... Well, I wouldn't say it's taking a long time to heal, it's more like I have it on and off for years. But it's been a little bit worse lately. Uh, but yeah, I also updated our storage system for infinite resources, which some of them eventually we will have to discard. Um, I don't think that's going to be copper, nope. Uh, but we are dumping an awful lot of cryonite powder, because if we process cryonite into cryonite powder, we get a little bit of sand back, and I don't want to waste that, especially because stone is so precious um, in this playthrough. Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, so I think I still physically have the old storage system here. What's this guy doing? You can take your 32 Pyroflux wherever you like. Um, and I think we've pretty much emptied it. Um, there is some rare metals here still. Can we, can we get rid of that? Uh, if I change the encoded network ID, it should get moved over here to rare metal storage, which I haven't tagged yet. Raw rare metals. So as you can see, we can neatly fit um, four solids and four fluids in each block. Uh, and it is 700,000 times neater and easier to follow than this version, where we can fit two solids, two fluids uh, per quarter. Which, to be fair, is significantly better density, but I mean, look at this. Even I can't follow this immediately, and I built it. Uh, so this is a lot simpler. We basically have a LTN drop-off with uh, encoded network ID 2. So we will not be taking from finite mines. 
which we give an encoded network ID of 1, or any finite resource uh, source for that matter, like uh, Pyroflux pickup over here. Um, we will be, let's see, uh, dropping off with LTN encoded network ID 2, lower than normal priority, uh, iron ore and crude oil. Um, if this crude oil, uh, crude oil container gets significantly more than half full, we're going to start venting it, but that's immediately going to get pumped down here, which has a high priority pickup. And we've effectively got the same thing for... Oh, and that's encoded network ID 1 as well, so that won't be looping back up here. Um, but we've got effectively the same thing for the solid resources. Wherein uh, it basically flows through this way. And this is a vanilla train pickup um, specifically to go to the trash. Um, and it's only going to trigger if both of these very large containers get completely full. Um, and the combinators we've got here are basically... Uh, if anything is 32k, uh, trigger a yellow signal, then we've got a yellow, uh, we've got a memory cell that will hold onto the yellow signal, so the train won't get confused while the one frame later when we've got less than 32k here. Um, the blue signal is uh, if there's a train here, so I copied the color coding from LTN. So basically, once a train is on its way, or at least is allowed to be on its way here, this light will go yellow. Um, and once the train arrives, it'll be blue. And the moment the train does arrive... Here we go. Uh, the moment the train does arrive... Um, this memory cell... Where is it? Oh, this is the LTN drop-off, not the memory cell. Uh, but this one's getting close. Yeah, we'll be able to witness this in a moment, actually. So, once the train arrives, we'll get a blue signal. Uh, this memory cell will forget what it knows. And... Uh, that's basically it. Uh, I noticed that I accidentally made a timer that shows how long uh, the train limit has been greater than zero because I set this to uh, output input count as opposed to one. Either way is fine. Either way is fine. Although, now that I look at it, we do set the train limit to the yellow signal, so maybe... Well, if I output one... It's going to have a value of 2 on the green wire, which would mean train limit 2, which we don't actually want, now that I think of it. Um, but I've only got one train to move stuff to the trash, and I don't think we're ever going to need more than one train to move stuff to the trash. Probably. Oh, whoops, I think I was muted. Uh, yeah, basically we've got just... Uh, we've got 32 crinite core fragments that we can deal with per second at the moment, and we're producing just over 32. So it's a pretty perfect ratio here at the moment. But um, really, I should be getting myself more crinite core fragments. Not to get more crinite, just to get more everything else. Uh, since processing the crinite gives us a little bit of sand, 
Um, but more importantly, we also get stone uh, and vanilla core fragments out of it. How quickly do we get vanilla core fragments? 4.2 per second. Uh, that's a little bit more than I was expecting, to be honest. Boovim, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, that's our new storage system. What, what's this one? Uranium? Uh, and I also temporarily fixed uh, a couple of... Is this one set up? No, nope, we're not storing anything here yet. Okay then. Uh, I also added another few uh, crude oil mines on Granus to put off having to give it an infinite supply of crude oil uh, for hopefully a good while longer. Let's see, this is like 7.6 million plus uh, 6.4? That should last at least 10 minutes, right? R right? Uh, but yeah, suffice to say, our everything uh, processing was kind of halted, all but halted for a while, because we weren't getting cryonite and we weren't getting that precious, precious pyroflux. Maybe I should set up a larger storage of pyroflux. I think that's actually a really good idea. We, we should store a lot of pyroflux just to make sure that if something happens to our cryonite core fragments, uh, it's going to take a lot longer for that problem to happen. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I think I'll just fly over there personally. Oh, and as you can see, I've been doing a little concreting, and now my bots are jumping out to help. Let's get our concrete train to park itself over here for a little while. I should have checked, but I'm pretty sure I left it set to concrete. Uh, no, I set it, I left it set to stone bricks. Whoops. That's not going to help a whole lot. Uh, it's probably easy to just let it go back at this point. Let me just switch this back, and we'll load it with concrete. Okay. We don't have that much vulcanite block stored. What's going on there? Rushed vulcanite... Is this saturated? It is. Cool, cool, cool. So where's the crushed vulcanite? I don't see any vulcanite core fragments. Uh, have they been coming? They are coming. Yeah, they're coming. I think we just... Uh, the, the consumption graph is spiky. And we're playing catch-up. The consumption graph is spiky because we've got two blocks of vulcanite core fragments, and we're probably supplying, like, I don't know, definitely not 80 vulcanite core fragments per second, that's for sure. That's okay. Um, so what I want to do here is... make a much larger storage. Maybe even put this here. I don't... Honestly, considering that everything is dependent on this, I, I think there is no overkill um, for storing... Uh, for storing Pyreflux. This is already connected. It doesn't really need the undergrounds here. Cool. 
don't even need any extra power poles there. Looks like we've already got the new power poles in this block. Well, let's make sure. I think I just removed some old ones in the corners. And we're good. Cool, cool, cool. Let's switch this back on. It will make the trains load up Pyroflux just a little bit slower. Uh, if it's nearly empty when they come to load it up. But I really don't think this is much of a problem. Alright, what should we work on today? We got pretty far in one uh, session, powering towards spaceship science. That's what I'm going to call it. Oh, I did uh, I did one other build off stream, uh, if you'll forgive me for this, for not showing you this very complicated and interesting uh, recipe, the way I dealt with it this time. I, I think you might maybe let me let me go for this one. Let me off with a warning. Chrysotep, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, but yeah, we've got broken data cards now to deal with the junk data cards. Um, blank data cards are actually totally saturated, and it's beautiful. In fact, we literally just looked over here in time to see the belt literally back up all the way. What a glorious sight. I wonder how many will back up in here. More than one stack? Nope. That's weird. 13 in this one, but 36 in this one. Before it stopped. 48 over here and 50 here. Why, why does it do that? Uh, hold up. Oh yeah, it does have an output. Okay, good. Otherwise it wouldn't have um, products finished 90,000. Jesus. 90,429, and it's about equal for all of them. Uh, how many blank data cards have we made this, this run already? And we're really only getting started. Uh, 941,000. I mean, to some extent, it will act a little bit like thermofluid, in that we make a whole bunch of it, and then once things actually start moving, it starts cycling, and we don't have to make it as fast. But not as much as thermofluid. It doesn't work that way. Uh, do we need both sides of the belt there? No. No, we don't. That's fine. Okay. So let's let's review. We've got uh, Energy Science 2, should actually be built, I think. We're missing SIG data. Have we not done SIG data yet? We haven't done SIG data. I think there was a reason for that. A reason to put it off. Uh-oh, I broke something. Uh-oh. What did I just press? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully it won't cause any problems. Factorio and Oxygen Not Included, two of my preferred games. Nice, nice. Uh, well, the important thing is we're still live and nothing's broken, I guess. Significant data is made in a number of ways. Astro Insight, Energy Insight, Bio Insight, Material Insight. We can combine two of them. We can combine three of them. And I think there's a way, yeah, to combine all four. Is there a way to build it in a shape that will accommodate the universal simulation using all four insights that we can... Yeah, there is. 
we can build it we can build universal insight and just use uh these three well not bio insight i'm putting off bio insight until we have spaceships so we can do astrophysics simulation um in the shape of universal let's do that that's my space area here we go okay let's drop in our usual block and a bit of the old scaffolding as well and then let's figure out i think i saw universal simulation can actually be done with a tier one computer even uh apparently not but the triple one can in any case i'll design it to use universal simulation and we should be able to just change the recipe back uh and i imagine it's only going to be easier uh to keep up with our belts and stuff well i don't think i think even if it's not it's probably going to be super slow anything with computers or almost everything with computers is quite slow for the belt speeds and fluid okay so we'll do the usual um, I really should have a blueprint for this by now. The usual fit with the maximum number of computers around a beacon. In the middle, I need some space pipe. just gonna look like this except the pipe in the middle is gonna be a bit different or we could make it a bit wider that shouldn't be an issue well it depends how many belts we need uh how many belts do we need we could do a sushi belt it does need an equal amount of these four and a very small amount of these two so one belt for the blank and uh oh wait that's the output what am i saying yeah we only need one belt input if we do the sushi i think i'd like to try unless it's just totally unnecessary and then may as well just Okay, if output is here, we can obviously fit two belts of input here, um, and we can fit two belts of input here very, very cozily, actually. No real need for a sushi belt here, as much as it pains me to say it. We could do one out of spite. Spite sushi. Maybe I'll make one on each side, and we'll decide uh, which looks better. Alright, so output is, of course, going to look like this. Oh, wait. I thought something was wrong. Input and output are turned around. Uh, and I want modules in these things. We'll start at tier 3. You can do it, we won't tell. One online, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, we'll start with the tier 3 speed plus efficiency. Negative 70% power, I'm happy with that. And what kind of rate do we get? Uh, yeah, that's still super slow. We don't need to worry about the shape of things. At all. 
slightly more than half a belt of blank data cards between the entire thing. Is that universal simulation? Yes. We don't have universal simulation just yet. Uh, actually, we, we might have unlocked it. No, we haven't unlocked it uh, because we don't have Bio 1. I mean, that's a pretty reasonable prerequisite for it. I, I'm putting off Bio a little bit, but what I'm going to do is basically make universal simulation and we're just going to change the recipe uh, until we get Bio. Bat boy not so slim. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so we're going to have... Uh, 1.5 train loads of each resource... Uh, each solid resource dropped off here. And... Let me do it on this side as well. We're going to compare the two. It's still going to be in pretty much the same place. Actually, if I'm going to have the sushi, I think I just want the one drop off on the left. And we can remove this more easily. Okay, so the usual... Uh, shed belt shenanigans. Um, and that'll just go uh, here, I guess. If I do it like this, we're going to have this going to one side and this going to the middle and one side. So it's not going to be balanced. Doing well, yeah, no plans for New Year's Eve, so I'm building a new computer. Nice. I mean, that sounds like a good plan to me. Uh... This actually, weirdly enough, the simple layout might be a little more challenging uh, to get something that I like the look of than I thought. Regardless, we're going to do this trick again. Um, super inserter, red wire, uh, set filters blacklist. Thankfully, we've only got four inputs, and that'll keep just a little bit of each resource in here. Holy crap, I didn't put filters on it. Uh, we can, we can fix it. We can rebuild it. Make it stronger. Okay. Uh, so, blue, green, purple. Do I really want it in the same order as the recipe? I kind of feel like astro and energy go together, if that makes sense. So then again, energy and material feel like equal and opposite. Uh, where am I looking? Energy, insight, material, insight. Doing well, yeah. No plans for New Year's Eve. Uh, provided the OS imaging slash cloning works, hopefully smooth sailing. Fantastic. Good luck. Uh, let me just clean that up. Uh, and the first one was blue, the second one was green. Just for some kind of arbitrary standard, I like to follow the order of the recipe. Alright, that's more like it. Uh, and same thing over here. But obviously this wouldn't do because it's not going to be balanced. But I just want to make sure... Oops. Make sure all the inputs and stuff would line up. Oh. Uh, that sh should be fine, actually. Not quite having room for the inputs where I expected to. Um... 
but this is okay. What? Oh no. That was silly of me. I forgot the the beacon's going to be a problem in this case. Well, maybe I should do sushi. Maybe there's a practical reason to do sushi here. Because... I don't really want to reduce the number of machines. Even though we probably really don't need this many. But it's not that much, honestly. We're going to have one block that does this ever, I think. Yeah, let's do the sushi. For fun and profit. Um, do I need a huge container for this? Maybe not. Oh wait, what's the overall throughput? For the small things? Less than half a belt each. Easy peasy. What about when and if we go really fast? see some tier nines I wonder how many speeds and efficiencies go in here I think this one's actually mostly speeds because the efficiencies get more and more overpower negative a thousand percent energy consumption versus plus four hundred percent yeah that's uh that's not nothing there we go yeah, we can fit a few more speeds compared to the lower tiers. Plus 400%. Alright, so that's our limit. Uh, and if we multiply this out... We get... Just under half a belt of... Yeah, just under half a space belt each. But if we have the deep space belts, uh, they're actually twice as fast. So if we're going to go that crazy, then we'll actually have a use for the deep space belts to upgrade to sushi. Very cool. That fits very, very neatly. Do you need a higher tier computer as well? Um, you only need a tier 2 for the universal simulation, surprisingly enough. And you can actually use a tier 1 computer uh, to do the combination of three inputs. So it's not that bad. The tier 2 computer is actually not very far away. Um, I think I could have had it now. But... Uh, energy 3. That's not too bad. I'll probably get energy 3... Well, I'll have to get energy 3 and bio 1 to get universal simulation. Regardless, uh, I think this is how I would like to do this. How many... Con what size container is this? 256. Alright, so we would need some kind of input control. Um, something like this. And I'll just copy this here. And we go less than what? Stack size 50, right? Yes. We have... Let's call it 250 stacks, if that. Maybe call it 200 stacks. Uh, 250 times 50 divided by 4, 3,125. Let's call it 3,000. So, astroscience, uh, 
or Astro Insight less than 3k. And change those to the appropriate colors. Copy paste down here. Um, and then we'll do the same. Well, actually, before I put the container there, let's set up these properly. Set filters blacklist. Alright, so that'll fill up with approximately equal amounts of all four of these. Uh, most importantly, leaving a bit of space for the sushi belt to come back in. Um, and then we're just going to need... Well, this, actually. Although, not quite that. What we're going to need to do is... Splitter... I just realized I could do a slightly more compact output for two of these resources. Uh, if I had a filter for both energy and material here, and then a splitter with a filter on it. Um, that should probably... Should probably have the same effect, but we take up fewer tiles over here. Just something to bear in mind. Oh, the, this is the only trouble though, the energy and material comes out kind of randomly. Well, not exactly randomly, it comes out in the order that it finds it here. So if we don't keep these belts flowing, there's going to be problems. Actually, the bursty nature of it would probably cause problems regardless. Um, but yeah, I think what we want here is the usual lock off one side, uh, input priority from the recycled side. Doesn't really matter which side we block here, as long as we're bottlenecking, bet uh, bottlenecking it onto one belt. And then 50% output, 50% gets recycled with priority. And this stuff here will get slowed down if there's anything coming in through here. So basically what we're doing is just bottlenecking half a belt, half a belt right here. And then we're getting 50% of that. And you could like void the other 50% if you had infinite resources. This is effectively sort of the same thing as far as how much comes out here is concerned. Won't that get stuck? Uh, if you're talking about what I think you're talking about, yes. Yes, it did. Uh, so do, do we have room to do this, I wonder? We could actually tighten it up a bit. No, we couldn't. I guess if we do it this way, it could take up less vertical space, but I don't know if we care about that. Wait, what? Oh, that works too, I suppose. Kind of looks weird. Um, but anyway, those are all going to merge in here. And then we're just gonna put it onto one belt. Uh, I don't suppose we have room to do this. We kind of do. And I think I will shunt it all upward a little bit. So if this goes here like we were thinking about. And that goes there. That's not quite what I want, but I think it's pretty clear we can just do it like this. And then it's kind of hard to see, but we do indeed get uh, an equal ratio, a consistent pattern of one of each insight here. 
It's not quite as pretty as typical sushi, at least coming down south. Just because... Uh, just because... It's hard to see it. Um... I think I will have it go both ways here. Because if I, like, split it up this way, we're going to have problems. Uh, and then we just need to recycle it. Because the... Uh, so, so we've, we've set it up so there's always some space here. Uh, and then we just... Because the inserters can't be counted on to take equally and predictably from all these. Uh, that's why we have to recycle our sushi at the end. Wait, what's the problem here? Oh, nothing. That's fine. We will need to get the input fluid over here somehow. I don't think that's going to be much of an issue. How many tiles is this? Uh, five, I think? Yeah, five, ten, thirteen. Don't really have a neat way to do thirteen tiles. Five, five, and three, I guess. Or I could do underground pipe here, since we're going to want this to output somewhere. Oh, that's fine. Let's grab a 3B. And over here as well, I guess. Or I could connect it all... Up this end is what I would say if these belts weren't sort of in the way. I think that's fine. Cool. That is kind of trippy looking, honestly. And the effect changes at different zoom levels. Oh, and I wanted to check. I think... This is probably enough for the entire block. If we were to double it. Uh... No, it's not. No, we'd have to do it on both sides. If we doubled it, which is fine. Also, we get, uh, let's see, 47.147 plus 18, uh, significantly less than two belts of output, but more than I was expecting, because a lot of blank data cards come out of the universal simulation. Um, I'm pretty sure at the next lowest tier, we're going to get way fewer. How many machines is this? 32? Uh, that is 50 blank data cards. Oh, this is... We actually spit out more blank data cards with the less efficient recipes. So, instead of spitting out junk data cards with inefficiencies, this spits out blanks. Which isn't as bad, but still... Kind of a loss of resources, loss of work there. Uh, but even so, we need... Plenty of... We need blank data cards, uh, thermo fluid, and sig data as our outputs. And I'm just going to go with the half block for now. I would be a little shocked if we ever need more than a half block for this, but we'll see. 
We'll leave room for the easy upgrade. Wait. Oh no, that's fine. Uh, so first of all... How should I do this? Maybe just a nice little 2x2 two two chest for the easy filters. Do I ever want... What's the rate that we make SIG data? Pretty slow. Where, more importantly, where do we use SIG data? Uh, science pack, science pack, science pack, science pack, science pack, and so on. We only ever use it in science packs, right? Space dilation data, I don't think we need a double train to drop off things for that either. I'm thinking we only ever do a single train for SIG data. It's not that much of a difficulty to change it. Um, if I change my mind. fine. Oh, this needs to be filtered to sick data, and this needs to be blanks. And I'll probably... Uh, blanks should be how, how fast? 23 per second. Significantly less than one belt. Easy peasy. Let's do... The old delivery cannon chest balancer thing. I'm going to limit these to one cargo wagon each and also allow 40 stacks in the uh, delivery cannon chest, which will. Damn it. I think I'll move this back up a tile for the look of it. That should be fine. And we just need thermofluid to simulate this. Thermofluid is... I'm gonna go here. Where's my huge storage tank? Wait, what? Oh, I forgot, it doesn't fit there. God damn it. Uh, in that case, we'll do this, does that, no, doesn't, it's not going to need to be fast, right? Nine per second, I don't think we need the super speedy loader for that. Be nice if any of these lined up conveniently, but I guess that's too much to ask. It really doesn't line up very well. Also, I think I want to move that to the left. Looks kind of neater. All right. Isn't the thermofluid? No, this is fine. Where am I going to link the thermofluid, the output? This is suddenly a good question. So 
surprisingly good question. That that works. That works very well, actually. Actually, I could do it here. I feel like that's sort of tidier. 14, 15, 16 tiles. Well, if that's 14, we can obviously do a pair of sevens. And then... I'll put this way. Whoops. Don't forget to link to LTN. Oh, don't connect that. Uh, and maybe like this. It actually lines up. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, let's test. I'm pretty sure there's still a little piece of pipe or two that I'm missing. Pumps wrong way, input, and input, yeah, you're, wait, no, output. No, that's right. Trying to confuse me. Out of Nix, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, and we actually need to link the input thermofluid, that would probably help. Does this go up here? It kind of does. Uh, I guess we could do it that way. And how many tiles is this? Seven? That's a good fit. I like that. And then I think... No, it's not connected. Oh, because this doesn't go... Uh, we need the outside to get some thermofluid as well. Which I think just means we have to go this way. 13 tiles. And there it is. Okay. Can we get rid of any superfluous... How, how do you not have thermofluid? Oh, this is output. 78.2. That sounds like it's all connected. A single recipe takes a while here. Um, but yeah, all of the thermofluid output does seem to be connected. Looks pretty good to me. Should I limit SIG data? I don't really necessarily see why. It takes forever to save it up, and sometimes we're going to consume it in big bursts. Obviously, if we're doing endgame, like, just spam science indefinitely, that doesn't matter, but for the actual, like, game, le leading up to that, uh, it kind of does. Let's just allow copious storage of seek data. Uh, and this one will be a high-priority pickup for the blank data cards and thermofluid. Andy Gaming. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Blank data card. And 25 degree thermofluid. Uh, and this one is just... Sick data. And we are requesting... 
all four types of insight. Oops. Goes into a computer. Let's just do the deep supercomputer for the symbol. And out comes uh, significant data, as far as we're concerned. Cool, cool, cool. And then we just need to request 100k supercooled and 1.5 trainloads of each of these. So 150 times 50, 7,500. And that's it, I believe. That's our universal simulation. Let's get some space and add a little bit of scaffolding back just so it doesn't look too tacky. Uh, no, you don't. I'm wise to your tricks. Kind of looks like there's a little gap there, but there isn't. Just fill this in. That looks fine to me. Uh, maybe a little more. Okay. Lord Vader? Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for the follow, I presume. That's what I accidentally got rid of. Where's my activity feed? Why is it popped out? Get back in there, how dare you. Thank you indeed for the follow. Okay. Uh, so let's blueprint this sucker. And it's going to be Universal Simulation. Uh, that's not where I meant to search, but sure, we'll use that icon. I meant to type it up here. I think we've already gotten rid of the cheat inputs. Uh, include everything, 86, 25. I said 25 and 1. Is our snap to and let's put it down near the blank data cards and stuff, I guess. I need to rearrange this a little bit. Um, but yeah, we'll obviously have to change it a little bit for the moment. Where do I want to put it, though? Probably close to all this universal stuff, or semi-universal stuff, near where we're going to have astroscience. I think I'll put it here. Or here. Alright, first of all, uh, I think, I don't know if this is off stream, but I added a scaffolding train. So let's have that pay this spot a visit. Basically the same design more or less as the concrete train. Tried to keep it simple this time. 
Um, it does have a system for removing unwanted or extra stuff, but I had to set it to... So that you have like 50 extra items before it starts taking anything out. I made one exception because it kept picking up destroyed logistic bots. So we're always removing those. But if we overfill one of these items, it has to be by 50 for the whole train before we start putting it out. Otherwise it'll go round in circles. I definitely should have parked the train closer to the scaffolding. Um, also, also, we need to swap the computers for a lower tier. And also, also, did I not put rail on this thing? I'm surprised I didn't put rails in it. That would be a good idea. Rails and pylon substations. Um, since I did have to go above... Four types of items already. It won't be any more trouble to add some rail. Space rail, that is. Um, a thousand would only be a couple of stacks per cargo wagon. Let's say 2k. That's way more than enough for a whole block. Whoa, what are you doing? What? Oh, that was emptying. That's fine. emptying to reset its uh, contents. Um, but yeah, let's bring our construction train down here. Wait, did I already send the construction train somewhere? Whatever. Inactivity... lots. Uh, how's our pyroflux doing? About 30,000 times a lot. 261,000, that's excellent. At this rate, we'll actually saturate it and have a big buffer against something happening to our vulcanite supply. Because this, because pyroflux is by far the most important part of what we get out of vulcanite. All of our smelting depends on it. I mean, I do have some regular smelting without pyroflux, but I'm not relying on it for the most part. Let's put it that way. Okay, I'm going to need an upgrade planner. Or rather, a downgrade planner. We're going to need a quantum supercomputer down to supercomputer. And where is this build? Here it is. And the rest should get done automatically. Although, I don't think I have the construction train carrying um, modules, actually. I don't even have any efficiency modules up there. Let's go deliver some. Which I happen to be carrying already. Fantastic. Into this elevator we go, but first, I just remembered, uh, I have someone waiting for a name in base. Let's do that real quick. Let me just bring up the list. I think it was AK. Uh, yes. Oh, look. AK-90. Here we go. AK-90. Fantastic. Is that too close to the... I, I should get some nice blocks here. 
Where's our construct uh our concrete train? Well, first of all, I, I want our concrete train to fix this mess. Uh, and when it comes back, I want to load black reinforced plate. I think the glass, uh, I think the glass text plates are going to look pretty decent against that. Uh, that's darker than I thought. Still, hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure now. I have to think about it. This will do for now. Where's our build? There we go. We're still missing a couple of supercomputers. I don't think I can handcraft them. I'm pretty sure they only get made in a space building. Yeah. We also need a 4x4 chest, which I'm not equipped to make right now. Is there a train that can't get here? There is. I'm surprised the uh, construction train is like two supercomputers short. Actually, I'm not that surprised. It stacks to 15. Alright, let's go fix this up real quick. Um, I need a storehouse. And... And what? Oh, a couple of supercomputers. I'll just... We, we literally need two more supercomputers. I'll just take some. In we go. It's a straight 45 degree, almost, from the malt. I also need more space pipe. No! Alright, construction train. Are you good to go? Yeah, pretty much, yes. Get your beautiful self down here. Burgers and fries! Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How was your stream today? What'd you get up to? Apparently we only have energy insight so far. Oh, and I wanted to change this recipe to... Uh, exactly this one, Astrophysics Simulation. So everything except for Bioscience. Cool. Um... Yeah, we haven't actually done the insight for material science yet. I do have a thing to make um, insight for astroscience, but that's like just about the only astroscience thing I've done so far. Also got the thing to make the bio insight. Although we don't even have that recipe yet. Okay. Oh yeah, we do have the Material Insight build over here. We just need Broad Catalog. And for Broad Catalog... Uh... What are we missing? Everything. Fair enough. I think the Spaceship Research technically doesn't need Material 2. It literally only needs Astro 3, but like... The nanosecond that we finish it, we're going to want some other things, like energy too. Uh, and then we're going to want material to, to increase the size of our spaceship straight away. Energy too. 
Uh, no, we've already got energy too. That's cool. And the only thing we're missing for the actual science is sick data. And the build we just made demands uh, material catalog and astro catalog. Fair enough. Significant data. Actually, I'm not going to use this other half block for anything other than potentially expanding. So in preparation for massive core mining, I set up core fragment processing on Nalvis to consume 360 fragments a second. Damn. That'll do it. I mean, it'll do something. Which should we work on next? So we've basically got Astro 2. Um, we've done Material 1. Which isn't working yet. Did I not switch this on? Cold, hard, uh, sorry, cold, hot, tensile, compressive. Cold is missing testing packs. I thought I fixed testing packs. Uh, so hot is obviously also missing testing packs. They're all missing testing packs. What's wrong with testing packs? Oh, oh no. Oh no, we're out of Imosite Crystal. That's not what I wanted to hear. Um, I do have... I mean, there's some Imosite on Hagen, but it's a pain. Raw Imosite. What? Here it is. Uh, the biggest patch we've got is like 157k, and it's on the other side of the planet. It's pretty pathetic compared to if we go to, I believe it's Gibbel, where we get... This one still has a 343k, but it's been quite slow. Maybe I should go over to Gibble and put some prod modules in these things. Uh, we're actually not that far off sending another rocket full of crushed imosite. Uh, we could obviously use another mine. Here's 1.4 mil. Okay. Uh, how much rail do you have left? 12k. That's that's an amount. Why aren't you loading it? Because you're trying to load lighted electric poles, which we don't have. Um, you've got lamps. Shouldn't be too hard to cobble this together. Do we have more machines? Big lighted electric pole. And big pole here. And a bunch of small stuff. Put it here, actually. What have we got? We need steel beams and iron stick. Oh. Uh, well... We don't have that much steel left, but I'm sure we can make a few poles. Steel beam... And... Uh, I've got an active provider, we can do that with no more hassle. Big power pole. Uh, and we also need iron sticks, which are over here. Do we have another chest? 
Not really. I need to make one. Uh, I can just change... Oh, here we go. We've got some passives. Make that a passive. Okay. That should give us... Some big poles. Fantastic. And then we need a bunch of rail, a bunch of big poles. Find our way over here. Uh, all the way over here. Something like this. Where's the rest of the rail? Way over here. Anyway, gonna bounce, it's 2am. Yep, fair enough, Burgers. Have a nice rest of the stream. You too. I mean, yes, enjoy my stream. Uh, have a good one, Burgers. Take care. Thanks for the raid. Always understand a raid and run. After seven plus hours, one is a little tired. And often, there are people waiting to talk to you. Alright, let's get some big poles over here. And our construction train is waiting on delivery cannon chests. Oh, we're actually too full to put them in, even if we've got them. Uh, uh, we are going to need some belt. We don't need over 50 construction bots, that's for sure. Let's, uh, let's just reset our inventory real quick. Aziz Light, Kandar Jr. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How's the last day of the year going? Not too bad. Not too bad. Got a little exercise. Got my groceries done. Chilling with some Factorio. Okay, hopefully we'll have room this time. For whatever it is I'm asking for. I don't think we need 250 chain signals. We're not making rail blocks at this stage. Cool, that's everything. Let's get our construction train over here. Wait indefinitely. And we'd better add some signals. We're not going to have a whole lot of traffic. But I should probably at least do this much. Wait. Oh, that's in the wrong place. How about we do this instead? That's a bit more clear. And... We need to inch over this way. Unfortunately, we don't have an epic uh, Robopot range this time. It's going to be a whole process. I'm really looking forward to Spider-Trons. <laughs> The construction trains are good, but when it comes to expanding the rail out, obviously that's a bit more of a hassle to do remotely. I'm going to need like 17 more hops to get this built. 
I wish I didn't have to go interstellar to get a raw imasite planet. Uh, in fact, where is the nearest raw imasite planet? 64,000 distance. That's relatively close. Maybe I should just go for it with cargo rockets. If it's gonna slow down or stop our science. Oh, there's zero biters on it? Oh, 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 that's, uh, that's pretty tempting. Budkai. That is very tempting. And it's got water. So we can do the infinite uh, liquid rocket fuel recipe that only demands iron. I'm thinking of, instead of what I've been doing, doing a very limited core fragment build to make the... to at least make the iron... Um, to make the liquid rocket fuel. It'd still be a number of steps to get self-sufficient producing... Uh, how are you not building this? The bots are too busy, that's why. Okay, wait for time past 10 minutes. So the bots can come back. Um, and I think with the way I've done this schedule... Uh, I don't know if I updated the system over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should automatically leave the station once this is done. I don't think we need 10 minutes, though, for the bots to get back this far. Well, a couple of them are going to be rather slow. What should I do while I wait just a few minutes for that? Uh, good question. I want a small task so I don't, like, forget what I was waiting on. Hmm. So anyway, let's do Material 2. Actually, I want to take a peek at Astro... Astro 1. One of the data cards. You don't have an Emosite core in the starting system? Uh, nope, I do not. I do have some good stuff in the starting system. Iron and copper core fragment planets. But, uh... Not everything. In fact, I've got all of the, like, basic, uh, exotic resources, except for the K2 Emosite. Uh, what am I doing? Science pack. Astro catalog. Uh, I thought I designed this, actually. Visible infrared UV. Yeah, 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 I remember this. We just haven't built it yet, right? Visible UV infrared... And this is the other three. So I just haven't decided where to put them yet. We've also got the blank observation frames, and the astrometric data, and the telescopes. I haven't done the small telescopes yet. I think that's what's missing. So we've done x-ray, gamma, radio, microwave, uh, and that just leaves... Wait, where is microwave in this? I, what? I thought... Nani? Uh, microwave is in here. Oh, you just can't see the name that much. From here. Alright, cool. So it's literally just uh, the three small telescopes that we've got left. That's good to know. Don't tell me I teleported bots back there. No, I don't think I did. Uh, let's have a look back at Gibbel. 
And our train should be ready to move on. Nearly happy new year. Maki, thank you very much for the 17 months. Wow. Thank you so much. And happy new year to you as well. Soon TM. Well, not TM. It's literally uh, less than seven hours for me. And let me give you a shout out as well. I'm sure you'll be getting up to some shenanigans. Alright, uh, where'd our train go? Over here? No? Wait, where is it? It is going over there. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but my goodness, I'm not used to the trains being this slow anymore. I'm just going to call them slow trains, the old locomotives, especially if they're not uh, running on rocket fuel. Shenanigans will be had, either online or off. Fantastic. Meloxel, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Any beginning tips for pre-rocket space exploration? I'm finding things very spaghetti-ish with log without logistic bots. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Um, build a very, very organized main bus base, I suppose. Because you're going to be stuck with it for a while. Unless you want to go for... Well, it's only going to help. It's not going to be good at scale. But if you go for the uh, crafting combinator mod, you could go for an auto crafter to make the most out of your, like, seven requester chests. Uh, something I realized uh, too late, really, to take advantage of in this run is small planets are actually great in the early game. Because, with K2SE anyway, you get bottlenecked on liquid rocket fuel hard. Um, and I would thoroughly recommend going for the water-based... Uh, well, I call it water-based... Uh, the build for liquid rocket fuel, where we start with uh, water separation. I think it's worth it even on a waterless planet. Just send ice. I mean, I'm saying that from the perspective of I set up my home base on an ice planet. So obviously ice is, like, free for me. But, like... I, I can send, if this was a waterless planet, I could send infinite ice and get infinite rocket fuel. And it you do run out of the crude oil. Um, it's I do have a, a, a ludicrous amount of crude oil on Hagen, so it feels like it doesn't run out. But I've literally run out of crude oil on uh, some of my outpost planets. I believe Gibble was the first one, actually. And we're now sending solid rocket fuel. No, not Gibble. Uh, one of the outposts is now getting solid rocket fuel just sent to it. I think it's Exorion. No? Uh, I'm confused as to which planet it was. But the important thing is... Uh, yeah. Crude oil sources do run out. And it's a pain. Mr. Husky, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, and it really, especially with small stack size, it really doesn't take that much core mining to fill up a cargo rocket, right? And I, I do still recommend filling cargo rockets with core fragments, because otherwise you're just going to have sprawling outposts with temporary low technology that is going to be a pain to clean up later on. I mean, I have that anyway, but I've somewhat minimized it. Uh, let's move our train up yet again. So we can get our precious material testing packs.
we still need like four or five more hops to get this done. This was from before I realized or remembered I could uh, cram vehicle roboports into the trains. Much, much, much longer reach. I do wish the uh, space cargo wagons had bigger, bigger grids. Or oh, actually, I guess it doesn't matter because for some reason I, I have to use the old cargo wagons for bots because... They only work if you switch the train to manual in the space cargo wagons for some reason. Almost there. How much more range do we have here? One more hop. One more hop. All right. Wait for inactivity. Don't tell me I didn't bring the mines. I did actually. Let's put a chest between these two. And we're going to need some belt. That's not what I want. How dare you. Hopefully we can get it all done without the bots overfilling the train. Naisu, why do we not have power? Oh. Because I probably only requested a handful of poles all at once. Okay, train go back, let's set the, no, wait, train come back, let's set the LTN settings, what, where is it going, no, don't go all the way back there and turn around, just go back, silly train. Alright, I think we've got that covered by the power network. Um, I'm going to need to make sure that the settings are correct for the trains on that planet. And this will be a pickup uh, for raw inner sight. Where's our train? Almost ready to go again. Should probably be looking for more big poles now that we're able to automate them for a while. And we're good. Fantastic. Wait, do we have the bots jump out as the thing moves? Yes. So we can probably just have the train go here and wait for inactivity. Um, we did some signaling already, that should be fine. That should be fine. Except the train thinks it can go in here and not block another train from coming. I need to fix that. Okay. The bots aren't jumping out? What? I guess logistics while moving didn't work the way I expected. Alright, it's alive. Why are you not drilling? Oh, 
It would probably help if I faced you in the correct direction. Same goes for you, actually. Mm, I didn't actually expect a half belt to be fold. Uh, I forgot these are seven, seven and a half per second each, actually. So three of them gives us half a belt. Which means... How about this? Oh, the construction trains are just getting back. Can I get it to... Nope, too late. You know what? This is already enough. Wait, no, I need to make sure it's got belt. Yeah, that should do it. Just go here for... A brief moment. I don't suppose we have any prods on this planet. I should probably go over there. Uh, I don't wanna... Surely with the amount of imasite that we get from these mines, we can carry it to infinite imasite. Should be fine. Okay. So, telescopes. I should probably go somewhere where I'm not chewing through life support while we do our designing. Oh no, only 740... Wait, what? Why does it say... Huh? Why is the parts count dropping? We're supplying them as fast as we can. Power? We've got plenty of power. Uh, I thought. Uh-oh. Oh god. What? Since when? Oh no. Oh no. How did this happen? When did- 24 minutes ago. It just super crashed. Um... Are we out of uranium? Uh, I think the answer is yes. Are we actually out, or are we not delivering it? We're not delivering it, that's why. Um, how about... Oh, that's the train limit thing. I'm just gonna go deliver it myself. No more leprechaun rocks. Uh, I'm gonna need some help, though. Where's the trash train? It's on its way back. Or maybe I can force a schedule. I need to redesign this pickup. Alright, uh, forget about the train limit. Uh, let's see. Request stack threshold 50, provide stack threshold 75. Why is it not making more? Because there's no special green rocks, except there's tons of them. Um, I could cycle them? Why not? that out of my inventory. Except now we've got no power anyway. 
Um, can I not get a delivery up here? This thing's not even powered most of the time. Well, at least we've got some wind power, so things aren't completely crashed. Uh, let's see, request stack threshold 1. And we're looking for 5k uranium. Provide stack threshold 1. And LTN should schedule a train for this, I think. Uh, I don't know why it wouldn't have done it by now. Hold on, where's the station? 5k uranium fuel cells, massive priority. Short trains only, request stack threshold of one. Okay. Short trains or long trains. Should probably make this short only. I should probably just do multiple train stops for this. I'm guessing there's a million uranium fuel cells in orbit. That's not even that much. Um, but why isn't it scheduling it? Train limit 1. Request stack threshold 50, provide stack threshold 1. There's clearly more than one stack of uranium fuel cells here. I don't understand. We do have short trains operational. Oh. They're all busy. Uh, I think all of our short trains are busy. That's... How many do we even have? I wonder where they are. There's some kind of... Oh, God. Oh, God, what... Don't tell me this is why. No, I don't think this is why. Why are you all queuing? Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, no, no. That's ungood. Okay. Uh, we're gonna go on a little trip with a little temp train here. Um, I think because our report of how much stuff we've got, um, in the mall is dependent on having power because RoboPorts are reporting it, uh, suddenly LTN thinks there's nothing in the mall. And it's sent like 50 million trains to fill it back up again. Myclat, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Sounds like a feature. <laughs> no, that is definitely not a feature. I do have a system in place that will correct this once we get things going. Uh, this thing's not even going to work except sporadically. As long as we get some uranium in here... Wait, what? We've got uranium here. Why has it stopped? You're joking. What? There was already uranium here. And maybe we were very low on it, but... I didn't run out. Oh god. Are those inserters moving? Uh, I think, I think I'll give it a hand myself. I'm gonna have to pick these up, unfortunately. How on earth 
did our automatic system work for hundreds and hundreds of hours and then this happened before we actually ran out of uranium. Wire wrong? Which wire is wrong? Past T hacks strikes again? Past T hacks would never do something like this. Not even once. So, output condition is steam is down to 5k. Input condition is we're currently outputting. If we actually had run out, then I would have had to, like, flicker this to start it up again. But we, we didn't actually run out of input, but it stopped inputting at some point. Why is there no water? Because there's no power. Oh god. Oh no. Do I have some... Here we go. Some wind turbines. No t Disconnect. Run... Run this off some wind turbines. Where, where are the bloody things? Wind turbine. There it is. Next to the drills of all things. Okay, so you have water now, yes? They only need like 50 kilowatts each at maximum. Actually, that's like five of these. Two of them. Okay. Alright. Spellevator, are you okay? Kind of. Okay. Check the power history. It crashed at like 20 minutes ago, I believe it was. Maybe add some alarms next time? Maybe. Could that be why the reactor's deactivated? No water? Well, the thing is, uh, if we ran out of power, we're not pumping water in. Um, I just fixed that. So normally you should run these off solar or something. But, like, I, I still don't see why it stopped, because, like, yes, we should have run out of uranium fuel cells, but we hadn't quite run out of them just yet. They were still on the belt, and I don't understand how, how it stopped, but there were still fuel cells on the belt. Brownout spiral? No, it wouldn't happen that way. It, it, it didn't happen that way. Look, it's just a sheer cliff. That's the power consumption from the wide area beacons, which is by far the majority of our power consumption at this point. Uh, but yeah, I really need to redo this output station. Or just redo this block entirely. I mean, I like the Coverex system. There's no reason that the uh, processing needs to be any different. I could probably slow it down, honestly. We don't probably don't need to spend 10 megawatt to speed this up when it's not doing anything a lot of the time. Maybe the water froze over? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, green rocks go here. Dark green rocks go here. Both go into this, these machines. We also have some extra dark green rocks going up this way to make sure we've got a backlog of them to make the fuel cells. 
the green rocks continue to go make more green rocks and can come back. I should prioritize. So the green rocks loop infinitely and the excess goes to the train network. The bright green rocks do. Considering just how much storage we've got of green rocks here, I think that's probably fine. Now I have to reconsider our station. The only reason this one was going to be different was because it's a drop-off for steel as well as a pickup. I think I can actually... Where's the output? Over here. I think I can actually do something with bulk rail loaders here. No, you're not needed right now. Uh, he's your fuzzer. He hasn't picked up the steel yet. Switch off. Fantastic. Okay. Here's what I am thinking of. We have a bulk rail loader, which is probably a tile off. Maybe short trains only for this one. Um, it'll be loading uranium fuel cells. And it'll be unloading steel. Simple as that. Maybe. It might actually be that easy. Considering it's just a couple of resources. I guess you could get away with quite a few more resources like this. It's not the fastest unloader, of course, but it doesn't have to be. I would have to do the input over here somewhere. So, just like that. Uh, the only trouble is that's going to load a train that's trying to drop off steel. Uh, up. If I do a container over this side, it's no different than... Do we even have another drop-off for... A, a pickup rather, for uranium fuel cells? Because we need to offer them to... go up the space elevator. Um... I don't think we have a train load... waiting to go over here. So it must be on the surface. Do I even have a train for this yet? Did I not get to it? I don't think I did. And I really should have a separate vanilla train pick up, because otherwise... Okay, so that's happening. Albeit slowly. Can I do a vanilla and LTN pickup and a steel drop off in one place? I 
I don't think so. We get a signal from the logistic train stop output when it's an LTN train. If we get no signal, we know it's a vanilla train. And there's only one per there's only one reason for the vanilla train to come, which is to pick up uh, uranium fuel cells. So actually, we might be able to do it. And I do want long trains to be able to work here. I feel like I'm going to end up reinventing what I did before at this rate. I don't suppose it can reach if I put it here. Nope. Probably need some belt or something. I'm going to need um Okay, well we can unconditionally put steel plate into here from a short train. Vanilla sh train schedule doesn't care what LTN has to say about train lengths. But LTN will only allow short trains. We'll request steel. We'll offer, um, we'll offer uranium fuel cells, but not until there's plenty of it here so the vanilla train can take it. I can't control vanilla train coming, we're going to have to have a train limit that isn't zero all the time. Oops. And we just go... I need two conditions on these. On this one, it has to be steel plate equals zero. So if we detect any kind of steel plate signal from the logistic train stop output, we know that this is a single cargo wagon coming to drop off steel, not to pick up uranium fuel cells. In all other cases, it should be fine to put uranium fuel cells into the train. And we should be looking for a whole cargo wagon. So stack size 10 should be should be fine. Should end up not sticking out. I think that might be basically it. How far across can this be? Surprisingly far. Oh. Uh, what did I do that alarm for? I thought it was for the trash things. Oh, it is for the trash things. This is the first time we're trashing something other than cryonite powder. And it's raw metals. That's, uh, not that surprising, actually. Bear in mind, this is only the raw metals that comes from core fragment processing, not from regular mines. Alright, so we should be able to put this here. Um, how about you go back so I don't have to pick you up. Is that going to reach, actually? No. 
with another one. Okay, we get it. It's working. I thought I set it to give us a separate, a different signal though, so I could click on this. Something's gonna get trashed. That is way too many. Uh, way too many warnings here to filter through. I'm pretty sure if I just mark them for deconstruction, they'll stop working. We're actually going through this raw rare metals surprisingly quickly. Suspiciously quickly. Raw rare metals. Uh, does this have... I don't imagine this is producing raw rare metals very quickly, but... We do have high priority pickup for it, and it's slow. I think we can probably not trash this stuff. Coded network ID 1. That's the old storage. That's... Uh... That's from scrap processing. It's also very slow. Even so, I think we want to try not to destroy anything that comes from there. Only from infinite sources. They all have the encoded network ID. I don't understand how we suddenly scrapped two train loads of raw rare metals at the same time, almost. Very weird. Glacier Wolf, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, how far can this reach? That'll do. And just put this here, I guess. This is unconditional, we just need the wire to reach. And that's connected to the wrong thing. Luck? Uh, what's luck? Okay, so... If it's a vanilla train, we don't get the steel signal. So we know we can, we can put the uranium fuel cells in. If it is a LTN train, we do get the steel signal. So we don't put these in. If it's an LTN train uh, picking up uranium fuel cells, we will get a uranium fuel cell signal here. So that all tracks. If it's an LTN train, it's a short train. If it's a vanilla train, it can be a long train. Um, I think that'll work. And I don't think we need to request this much steel, to be honest. Considering we go through it at like 0.1 per second. Oh, the beacon. Yeah, 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 I think we do want the beacon here, because the... Because these are going to be kind of slow, otherwise. That's more like it. So now we get... Uh, 0.66 uranium fuel cells per second, which honestly is pretty quick. Um, and now I just need to see if... Uh, if this will work for a LTN pickup, I think it will. I think we need more short trains as well because oh, we've got some here. 
The only reason they were missing was because everything was stuck around the, uh, around the mall. We sent a whole lot of stuff to the mall needlessly, but uh, if anything exceeds 200 stacks, we offer it back to the, uh, to the rail network. With the rare raw ore thing? Um, I don't know. It would have to be coming in really fast is the thing, because how I've got this set up is LTN drop-off, LTN pickup, vanilla pickup that goes to the trash, and it flows through here. All from uh, all these containers into this one, basically. And this is the second last one. Um, basically, these two containers have to be completely full in order for a train to come. Uh, and even if it drains a bit before the train gets there, the train will still come. So then we take a uh, hundred stacks away. And then it would have to fill up again in that time. I, I guess it could, yeah. Like, if two of the really, really slow producers of rare metals synchronized, I guess it could happen. We'd also have to be really not consuming rare metals very quickly, which uh, I have seen that happen as well, I guess. Right now, we don't have a whole lot of enriched... Why does this concrete never get built? Oh, I went and filled you with reinforced... That's probably enough already. Let me actually pay attention to... Um, to the concrete train for a sec. And see why this isn't getting filled out. Because I've sent the train here a few times. Big windy snake. Alright, here it comes. Maybe there was just other concrete in range that I didn't notice. Maybe the 15 seconds wasn't enough for the very weird way the bots get given orders to fill out floor tiles in waves. I think that's probably it. I, I think 15 seconds wasn't enough for the bots to get given their orders. Yep, there it goes. Okay. Back you go. And that wait, was that unpowered? Yeah, some of it's unpowered. I think we can get rid of the old power poles here with no issues. Um, and the substation pylons. One of them doesn't fit in the middle, so it'll have to be here. I think the construction train has substation pylons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just get you to visit. Okay. So, provides tech... Oh, we haven't switched this on, that's why. There we go. Picking up uranium fuel cells. Just under 300. I'll leave that as it is for a while until... How many are we looking for? 5,000. 48 times 50. 2,400. That should probably be a active provider. Oh. Yeah, no, that'll work. 
There's plenty of room for 5,000 fuel cells in here. Um, I think I'll leave that as it is until we've got a lot of uranium fuel cells backed up. Uh, to run the steam turbines. Steam's getting kind of low on this end. We should be able to witness it working. As soon as it hits 5k, it should put more uranium fuel cells in, all in sync. 5.76543321. And beautiful. Yeah, so I don't know how it got to the point where it wasn't working even though there were fuel cells on the belt. Um, I want to set up a vanilla train to take uranium fuel cells to space, but we're going to wait until there's a few more fuel cells built first. Honestly, I should probably have a block or a half block somewhere to make fuel cells specifically. I think it's a bit much trying to cram them in here. Now then. Uh, how's our... Oh, I saw the train leave. Or, the train has left. So we have been making some testing packs again. Uh, we made a bunch a few minutes ago. Oh, so it's all bottlenecked on Immersite Crystal at the moment. Now then, we were trying to make some kind of space block. We were trying to do the three small uh, telescopes. which all operate at different speeds. I think I may have forgotten some signals with the last build, actually. I did. Technically not a problem, probably, but we should fix it anyway. Vex or Navy issue. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, so I think all of these telescope recipes are basically the same. It is one in, one out, fluid and solid. And they all go at slightly different speeds. Actually, they go at the same speed. I think the amount that we need for each of them is different. To maintain the same rates. Um, how much do we need for each? What are these called? Frame. Observation frame. And the first three are infrared, visible, and UV, I believe. Um, I think we can infer from the percentage. 85% visible. Uh, UV is 90%. And... Uh, what was the other one? Oh, infrared. 85 percent. That's practically the same. Let's just make them one to one. I bet I can do a nice pattern of... Okay, they all share the exact same inputs. I bet I can do... Where's our wide area beacon? Uh, 
obviously want a bit more... I either want to do 3Bs for the pipes... I think the amount of thermofluid actually adds up this time for once. How many modules can we have? Four. Eleven point five each. Fifteen point three six each. Fifteen point three six each. Okay, so this one's a little slower. But We might actually end up wanting to go a bit fast with the thermo fluid. Can we do it that way? I could do... I could either use long arms like this. I don't think I like that all that much. Or I could do output like so. We could have like... Input, output. So we'd need two belts. I'm pretty sure the amount on the belts is negligible. It does add up to more than half a belt, but that's it. So on the top row, we'll swap the side of the belt that we put the output onto. And on the input side, we could either do the same thing, or we could do long arms. But around the beacon could be a bit of an issue. We can actually flip this, that's luxurious. Uh, I could push this all the way out here. So we could do... Oh, wait. I'm all confused now. I want it to be infrared, visible, UV. Like that. Or maybe... Four of those... Four of those, and four of those. Might be a bit easier to follow. Cool. So then this would go like that. We'd still have a little bit of fluid troubles. Could probably figure out a way around it. Or I could do the input on one side. No, let's not. What if we did some underground belt here? Is that really so bad? It's not that bad, actually. It doesn't look too bad. And we flip. I kind of like that, actually. Although, I do hate inserters pointing at undergrounds needlessly. Alright, so, near side. For the top six, for the output. Uh, 
That's actually super tidy. I kind of love this. What's the rate for the fluid? 675 per second is not that bad. Let's do a input like so. Um, I kind of want the thermo fluid loaded as quickly as possible. And it should probably be okay if this isn't perfectly balanced as all things should be. Actually, may as well put this here. Uh, except we want the input fluid to go like this. We'll get a pump here. So on each side, we need 337, 338 cold thermo fluid per second. I don't think that's going to be difficult for the pipes. And we'll have it connect over this way as well. Nine tiles, perfect. That's six tiles. This will do. And then we just need a couple of belts through here. And then output, of course. We'll need three stations for output though, unless I do a smart loader. What's the stack size for these? 200, isn't it? UV observation frame, stack size 200. Yeah, I don't want to use inserters to load something with such a huge stack size. If I were to ever double this, we wouldn't be able to fit... Um, actually... There's no, uh, waste outputs, right? Except for the, uh, thermofluid. Could do it this way. Got plenty of space down the bottom, it seems like. So we just need to filter the outputs. Oh, come to think of it. No, that should be fine, either way. For the different items on different sides of the belt. I can either use multiple splitters, or... What's our rate of production? Only 30 per second each resource. I think... Hmm... Do I even want to do double trains for this? Yeah, probably. I think I already did the builds that consume them with double trains after all. Okay. 
Also, where do I want to do the fluid output? Probably here. Where we've got more space to mess around. Uh, 675 per second, though. Maybe put it on this side. So we'll have... How many tiles is this? 15, perfect. Unless the belts are going to have a problem, but I don't think so. And we'll have another pump here. And this is like 13 tiles. How about a couple of sevens? Not quite. That should be quite fast. And then... What's our overall throughput? Output? 90? Over 90. More than two belts. Hmm. Maybe I should... Well, I can't really split four columns into three. I'm just trying to think where to put a belt to merge and split these. How much is the output from these three? 69. Too much. What if I merge and split them in two different places? What if I merge the outputs on each side? That's slightly above one belt. Not a fan of that. Hmm. getting surprisingly tricky. I guess I could bring them over here. Balma, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I don't think I can fit... Technically, I can fit another output there. That might not look so bad, even. Oh, uh, they might have trouble loading from there. No, only if it's a fluid. Or what if I did something like this? I can't put a signal on that side is the only trouble. How about... If we have... One, two... I'd have to make this not a big pipe. Just to save that one tile, I think. 
I don't think swapping those inserters would help. this. Then we have one, two, three, four spots for output. Uh, I could even still use the delivery cannon chest here. Only trouble is I don't have room for an underground after the unloader here. Um, I guess any two resources adds up to 60. That's too many. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to put some underground pipes here and hope that we can avoid slowing down uh, the fluids too much. I guess I could always put a pump here and here if it was that desperate. It probably isn't. I'm probably over overdoing it. Um, and then that means we should be able to have a container where we'd like. Might even be able to do it with just a 2 by Only trouble is... Uh, no trouble actually. There's just enough. That's a good fit. And this one can go down here. Yeah, all things considered, that's not uh, not too bad. If I did a 4x though... It really doesn't need to be a 4x for this. Let's keep this uh, tribute to Cthulhu here. Alright, we're going to limit these to one cargo wagon each. We're going to tell LTN what's in the fluid container, and uh, that's basically it. And all of them, just to double check, require cold thermo fluid. Fantastic. And I forgot to put the filters on. Alright, let's do... Infrared here. Uh, which one's slowest? They're all the same speed. Uh, which one had the worst percentage? What, like, which one do we need to produce the most of? I guess it doesn't matter as long as we pick one of the ones that aren't like that. 85%. Ninety percent. Ninety-eight percent. Okay. So 
so visible we can probably go here. No, other way around. Which one had the 85%? Oh no, no, that's right. Let's make this one visible. The one that we're going to have to pick up from the most or make it the high priority. Uh, pick up from the least, rather. So this will be... Visible observation frame and 25 degree thermal fluid. And we'll filter it there. And the other two are infrared and UV. And I'll just drain all of these to make sure. All right, looks like it's working. That looks pretty good to me. And if we ever want to double it, that shouldn't be too hard. I guess. Might be a bit more spaghetti on this side. But I imagine that's probably going to be enough. Look at those telescopes go. That is... That is definitely how science works. Make telescopes spin around faster, get data faster. Beautiful rainbow, indeed. Okay, uh, let's remove our cheat inputs and remove the excess scaffolding for the most part. Except, put a little of it back just to make sure it doesn't look too tacky. I need to update that one uh, blueprint because we're always leaving scaffolding under the uh, pylon substation to the right. And it looks weird and it's not necessary. Okay. Let's fill in most of the gaps. So it doesn't look like it's gonna fall apart or something. Or give us a nasty scrape. How's that? That seems pretty decent to me. Uh, and let's do the train stop names that I haven't done yet. So this is visible, this is UV. And this is... Infrared. Make sure they have the right settings. They do not. Uh, short trains or long should be fine. And I guess I'll allow short trains on this one also. Then blank observation frame plus cold thermofluid requester 
goes into telescope makes beautiful frames. Let's blueprint. Infrared, visible, and UV. Eighty six twenty five one. And I think that's it. Snap two looks good. And that'll go down here somewhere. All right. Let's figure out where we're going to put it. Elk Road Rail would be those storages, right? Uh, yes, Bulk Rail Loader. You can see the blue text on the right over there. Jacobaz, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Dalmar, if I didn't say so. Welcome, welcome. Also... Okay, observation frames. Um, did we put down a build for blanks already? I don't think we actually built it. And considering what goes into blank frames. Coal, glass, steel, and light. So lots of stuff from the space elevator. Um... All of it around here. I'd like to. I'd like it to build, be as close to this elevator as possible. I think here is fine. Let's start with the scaffolding train. Park yourself over here, please. Actually, park yourself closer to the scaffolding that we're trying to build. And then we'll send in the construction train. building. Oh, construction drains already on the job. Fantastic. And let's start making builds that consume the frames. We've got one, two, three, four of them. I'd like this one up here. Uh, I'd better not lose track of what I'm doing. Blank frames go here. Uh, infrared. Visible. And UV. Can go here. Should have got the scaffolding train to make another visit. Don't tell me you're not carrying the... Oh dear. Okay. Where did I put them? How many do we need? We need eight space manufacturings. Uh, 
I think there's a room in the cargo wagon in the back for that. Back down here you go once you finish that lap. And we'll get this one to visit over here. Also, it's probably about time I got the concrete train to do something. How about... Uh, I feel like our module build should have concrete. Wait, where is our train? No path? What do you mean? Oh, it's on manual. That's not, that's not a no path. Okay. Well, I, indeed it was about time to get him to do something. It was about time to get him to go home. Where's our construction train? On its way back? But it didn't... What? But you didn't do the thing. Construction train? Why aren't you carrying space manufacturings? That's uh, probably more plating than we normally need to carry. You are carrying space manufactories. What the hell? Did I just schedule it in the wrong order? Okay. Please go over here. Wait for inactivity. And then go over here and wait considerably considerably longer than that. Wow, the bots are taking their sweet time placing these things. I thought five seconds would be enough. I think that's what the problem was. We don't have the superior lung inserters yet, so they're not putting in the beryllium plate. Uh, we do have the technology. But I need heavy bearing, immersium gear wheel, and immersium plate all in one place. I think I'll just do it in the mall. Um, let's see. Heavy, bearing, gear wheel, plate. We've already got these things. So I should be able to literally just... Superior... I'm pretty sure we can make them on the ground. Superior long... Superior long filter... And superior long felt. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Unless there's some prereqs that we need to add to here, which I think are gonna be plate and gear. Oh, and also aeroframe scaffold. I can't remember if I did a build for that yet. I don't think so. Aeroframe scaffold, we don't have any. So we can do superior inserter. We cannot do superior long inserter. But we can't. Wait, what? Oh, we can do superior filter. We just can't do the long ones without aeroframe. Alright then. Let's quickly do a aeroframe scaffold build. Uh, 
I thought I would quickly remove the excess builds here, but it's taking a little longer than expected. Let's use this one. Right, that should be a regular old block. We'll start with the wide beacon. I should really stop putting these down thoughtlessly on Hagen. It's a bit ahead of our power. Well, it's actually not, but I need to be a bit more careful with our power, I guess. Uh, and we definitely want to use... Um, advanced assembly machines. Prod modules. Fit as many as we decently can. Probably move that one tile to the left, maybe. Well, actually, it depends how it lines up with the stations. Right, what do we need? Aeroframe pole, crinite rod, immersion plate. In what kind of ratios? 8, 8, and 32. Uh, are we making aeroframe poles? Yep, I don't think so. They, they only stack to 50 here. Huh. Hmm. What if I... If they only stack to 50, and we're looking at most of a stack per second, but what if we built this on the second half of a block? And then we can take from that build directly with no trains. How many things do poles go into? Those don't count. That is... I was going to say relatively slow, but maybe not. Not really. All things don't count. Uh, space elevator is, cable is quite slow. All thing, all thing, all thing. Okay, so basically science and space elevator. Either way, for at least one build, I think it wouldn't be a bad idea to have this in a half block that we can just add to our existing build. Okay. So, split up? How fast is this? I mean, I can obviously speed it up a bit. We've got the old beacons. But only 13.2 aeroframe poles per second. And this is way too fast. I could replace it with a new build. Oh, this is making iron sticks on the spot. This is like the second or third time I've considered putting iron sticks into the rail network. Uh, I'll just do a self-contained build and we can scale these separately. 
Otherwise the ratios are going to get all weird. So it was three inputs. Um, we need two per second, two per second, eight per second for each column, so I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. It's actually quite slow, belt wise. So we'll obviously have a dedicated belt for the poles and half belts for the other resources. Wrong belts? Oh, true. I mean, technically we could use them on the ground, but it'd be a little wasteful. Actually, can we use them on the ground? Uh, I think we can. Shnutsky, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't think we're going to have input problems for the individual machines like that. No, the individual machines take one per second for the fastest resource. Oh, I don't have these in my inventory. Okay, so we can have 100 stacks times 2 for each resource that's coming in. Uh, they have three different sizes. Actually, considering the aeroframe pole has the lowest stack size and the highest throughput by far, uh, I'm thinking I should ratio these a bit differently. How about two train loads of aeroframe poles, which is uh, 10k. What am I doing? We don't need any fluid. So that's 200. Well, we could just do two train loads of everything. Um, if a... If it's... 64% of a stack per second. Um, 100 stacks takes... Over two minutes, yeah, it'll be fine. But for the others, I'll just request like a train load and a half because they're not going to run out quickly. I could probably even go considerably less than that. Eight immersion plate per second. So, like, 10 stacks would take 125 seconds. Yeah. Let's just go 1.1 stacks for the other two. Cryonite rod. Twenty two K. Immersion plate eleven K. You'd think these were the higher priorities based on numbers alone, if we didn't know the stack sizes. 
Uh, and then for test input, we just shift. Wait, wait, wait. Set filters blacklist. Shift right click, shift left click, and fantastic. And then. Some filtered outputs. That just lines up the way I want it to. Oh. Oh, and. Pull and pull, I guess. Wait, that's not where I want it. Probably doesn't matter, to be honest. One per second per machine, it really doesn't. And we need some split belts for the other two. Um, I don't really want to have to merge and split them, but I don't really want one of these feeding two thirds of the build, or three quarters of the build either. Hmm. about finite rod immersion plate is there really no other recipe for this uh there isn't we're gonna need immersion always for these And I guess I could put a splitter down here. That's a space splitter. I don't know, how much less tidy is that than having a box to s merge and split them all? I don't think it looks too bad, actually. I'd love to swap the sides over here. But I think unless we were reliably consuming on both ends... We'd end up getting one resource or the other stuck. some outputs. Uh, apparently we also need some in... Oh, we need power. I have the power to get the power. Alright, and then some plain old outputs. How fast are we per machine? Less than two per second. So fast. And then... Loader, loader... Need 
easy enough. Already got our signals. Let's make sure we've only got the new power poles. And don't forget the outfit station. Actually, did I set this as like a provider? I did. Request stack threshold 100. Uh, train lengths is correct. Uh, I want the same blue color, which is 0155255. And over here, scaffold pickup, simple as that, let's blueprint, and I'll probably just not bother with the beacon for now because we don't need it to go nearly as fast as this. And we don't really want to pay the power cost at the moment. Snap to grid looks good. And I want to put it next to aeroframe poles. Where is aeroframe poles? Did I not blueprint it? Or is it under... Here it is. Alright, and let's of course go build that right next to our aeroframe build. Our aeroframe pole build for the moment. Construction train over here. Was I? Okay. Inserters, don't forget. Yeah, I'm working on it. We need the scaffolding first. That's why I went down that rabbit hole. And I need to make one giant container. I also need... oh yeah, I need the inserters to finish this build, that's why we're doing that. Okay, we're gonna need... Uh, 48 telescopes. Do we have them here yet? We have one. Alright. Telescope times 50. I don't believe we have multi-spectral mirrors in our requests down here. And do we have them lying around? We do not. We do have plenty of them right here. Oh, I need another combinator up here now. Um, sure. 
should get delivered shortly. I think. Pretty sure. Oh, it is getting delivered. The light just didn't go yellow. Fantastic. Alright, so there should be 50 multispectral mirrors up here before we know it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yep. Probably literally by the time I fly there. We also need a few space... Um, a few more space pipe, basically. Um, they stack to 50, so I should be able to just get the construction train to carry them. Off you go. And then come back. Okay, back to the surface. We've got our scaffolding build, or have we? We're missing a bunch of blue belt. Probably just asked for so much blue belt that it takes two trips to make it, that's all. And then, don't forget to request, scaffolding, at the mall, how much storage space do we have? Uh, an alarmingly small amount by the look of it, oh, we've still got some. the conquest of now is going. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Where's our construction train? Still getting loaded? Oh, it came back, but it didn't finish the build. How is it... How is it not allowing itself to get fully loaded? Oh, the emptier seems to be in the wrong place. That's probably why. It probably emptied itself and then came to build this stuff. And then I wonder why it doesn't work. Genius. Uh, I would have thought we'd have some deliveries here by now. Oh, it's not switched on. And we're not requesting things. That would probably help. I did name the station correctly, at least. Um, train load and a half should be more than enough. And for fluids, it is... Old thermofluid... I believe. And that should trigger a delivery or two. Do we have... We don't. We need the super inserters, the long arms. How close are we to getting those done? Um, I don't think I've put the immersive gears and the plate. And the scaffolding. In the big chest. Go. 
Logistic storage 14,945. On the way zero. Hmm. Bots, what are you doing? Oh, it's already here. That's why. Uh, there's no gears. Apparently. Oh, no, here it is. I did do a build for gears. So I just need to request them. I think they stack the same. Oops. Uh, what about plate? I thought we already had plate. We already have plate here, but I'm not seeing a request for it. Am I blind, or...? No, I, th I think we do need to add a request for plate. Which means I need... Oh, I already requested the scaffold. Cool, cool, cool. There's our gears. And there's our first superior inserters. What a beautiful sight. I wonder how much more power they use. Uh, max consumption, 120 kilowatts. It's barely more power than a than a stack inserter, and the minimum consumption is the same. There is no reason not to use these. Once we get infinite imasite, I'll probably phase out using regular stack inserters whatsoever. Okay. But for now, we have a bunch of superior inserters, but not the long ones, because we need the scaffolds first. And the scaffolds are missing cryonite rods. I wasn't expecting that. You are trying to pick up cryonite rods that aren't... Wait, what? How? Huh? I... 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 I'm, I'm very confused. Okay, the station name is bad. But I don't know how the trains ended up here, of all places. Okay, so there are trains on the way with those two resources. I need to bring them over. And then fix these train stop names. Fortunately, they didn't manage to drop off the stuff in the wrong place. Uh, so this is a provider for discharged space train power packs. And this is... That should only be allowing short trains anyway. Uh, this is a provider of... Uranium-238. And... I think there's no trains still on the way here. We can now update the station name. Which is a requester of... Oh, let's turn this off first. Poles. Rods. And plates. For the sake of... Making... Airframe scaffold. Tinnos? 
good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Other stations have the same bad name, correct? Ar Archimaxis. Welcome, welcome. Also, Evil Plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well as well. Um, the thing is, normally the station names don't matter with LTN because if there's any ambiguity, it'll do a temp stop right at the location. Uh, right before the train goes, is scheduled to go to that station. But I don't know how, I don't know how that didn't work out this time. Technically, you shouldn't need to worry about station names at all with LTN, but it's good practice anyway to, to do that. Alright, so our first pickup of Aeroframe Scaffolds will obviously go to the mall. We're already out of poles. There should be a train picking them up. Oh, I didn't switch this back on. There we go. Alternatively, I could have the poles belt straight down here. Especially since the stack size is so small. But I mean, look at how quickly the trains get here. Oh, that's actually two of them in that time. So one pole... Four poles becomes one scaffold. That's kind of rough. If we ignore the prod bonus, that is. As soon as we get some scaffolding in the mall, I think I would like to set up a train to take scaffolding upstairs. Um, and then we can start making these things in the mall upstairs as well. Because we've already got... Well, I haven't actually set up trains to take up beams and gears up yet either, apparently. Uh, let me make a little to-do, actually. Uh, arrow, scaff, iridium, beam, uh, iridium gear plus plate. Need to add those trains. Okay. So why are we not... Oh, right. How's our mall downstairs looking? Scaffolds are on the way. We will soon have our precious inserters. Which are going to take up even more stacks until we can completely supersede the old stack inserters. Or all of the old inserters in general. Oh well. And there they are. Superior long filter inserter, and so on. Gimme, gimme. Let me just request them here. All the superiors. Beautiful. Up we go. And over to our brain build. Nice. Look at it go. Quite hypnotic. Especially at the corners. Alright, that'll be a hundred stacks in no time. 
and we can start making frames. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's nothing left to build here. Uh, we also need to do the other four types of frames. The uh, other four blocks. So we've got... I think I'd like to do these two big ones next to each other. So let's do X-ray and Gamma Ray up here. Uh, add tag. X-ray. Gamma Ray. And of course, we're going to need a lot of scaffolding. And we're also going to need... Uh, let's see, 24 X-ray, 24 Gamma Ray telescopes. Which we don't have either. It's telescope time. It was 24, right? Let's go two stacks. And we might have to add some prereqs. Once it switches over to the next recipe... Wait, we can make them in a space manufactory, right? Yes, we can. Uh, that's actually already got everything, but I don't see it trying to make... It, it should be here that it's trying to make the Gamma Ray Telescope. Wait, how do we make it? Can we not make it yet? Is that why? Uh, we haven't researched it. That's, that'd probably help. We only need Astro 2 as well. We can probably just plow through it, because we haven't been researching for a while. We should have the research saved up already. Yep. So as quickly as these two can go. Consumes... Uh, 4.8 per minute. Oh, it's already at 4%. That gives 5%. That gives us a pretty good idea of how long that's going to take. Alright. I guess while we're waiting for that, let's do the other two. Microwave frame goes here. And the other one, radio wave, goes here. Let me just put the telescopes there. Where is it? There it is. Oh, it's not radio wave, it's radio telescope. And I think I want to change these to just show what type of telescope they have. Was it gamma ray on the left? Or on the right? On the right. And then... Baby telescopes here. I feel like that's kind of more descriptive. You should be a little to the left, though. Alright. Let's park our... Did I already place the scaffolding plan? I did not... Wait, what? Don't tell me this blueprint didn't include scaffolding. Uh, it had the exact same layout as this one though, right? Pretty sure. Lucky. And 
we may need a few trips to get all of this scaffolding placed. And I believe it was 24 and 24. Those telescopes. Which we haven't finished the research for yet. Do we have microwave? Nope. And we haven't researched radio either. We've done microwave at least. Okay, uh, radio wave is also just 50 astro 2. It won't take long. Okay. Uh, and I should probably... Stack size 1. Yikes. We need... 24 stacks! Ay caramba. If I haven't already requested those... I want to put all the telescopes together. Okay. 61% on Gamma Ray Telescope. We actually have finished the scaffolding, it looks like. Yeah, this train still has scaffolding in it. Damn. And construction range definitely covers all of it. Cool. Glad I made this uh, scaffolding train. Why can't it go home? Oh, because there's no rail here. Construction train to the rescue. And why don't you park over here after that as well? And why don't we build as much as we can while we're here? Fantastic. Oh, we've already got our observation frames coming in. Nice. I mean, I, I knew this. I saw these working before for a minute, but yeah, to see the to see it all coming in at scale and that we're almost halfway done filling trains, that's very nice. What other builds have we already designed that we haven't placed yet? Uh, data cards for these things, and then astrometric data. I think we'll put the data cards here. And the atromestic, atro, astrometric data a bit further to the left. Those the same build. Why does this one have big gaps in it? Oh, I see. Yeah, 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 I remember this. Uh, and I think I'd like to put the astrometric right about here, where it'll be close to the sources of later game cards that we're going to have.
So this one was the first four cards, and that's the next three. Visible. Infrared. Looks the same. UV. And microwave, I believe. And then it was X-ray, radio, gamma ray. Possibly not in that order. Alright, where's our scaffolding train? Good to go. Almost. Still recharging. You're basically done recharging. Okay, maybe not. We'll give it a little bit more time. How's that other stuff we fixed a while ago? Vulcanite, core fragments have been steady. That doesn't look as steady. Oh, that was production side, though. So it must have, uh... Well, it must have... It could have been a fueling problem or something. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think we're bottlenecked on liquid rocket fuel again. We actually do have the crude oil. Yes. We've got... We've got very little light oil. Yeah, we're struggling to keep up. Okay, then. Akira DK, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is this train ready to go now? Uh, close enough. Go forth and build scaffolding. Okay. So we're bottlenecked on trains building things, a couple of researchers, trains going back and forth building. Uh, why don't we do a bit more design? Just woke up more or less, have been watching the last hour from my Chromecast, but could not get myself out of bed. Understandable. Oh, have we got some signals here? down the elevator we go. It feels good to have uh, superior inserters now. That's very cool. How's our uranium situation? Okay, seems like we have plenty of it here. Although that might have been what I just manually delivered a while ago. Why is there only one stack of... Oh, because I set the provide stack threshold to 1. There's no steel? There is steel. I'm not pushing the steel into the machines. Well, there's your problem. Engineering disaster, slides, podcasts. There we go. I am a walking engineering disaster. Okay. You know what? I'll set a reminder here. Oh, I know where I can get. Without handcrafting, I can grab some... Uh, some notification speakers real quick. These ones that I don't care for. Did I send a construction train past here? Oh, here they here here we go. Oh 
Oh, I want to see if we've been consistently eating Core Fragment Phryonite. Uh, apparently there was a big dip two hours ago. But other than that, pretty much. Hmm. I wonder why. We're not having trouble at our crushes. Nope, they're empty. Even though I just saw a train taking... Brynet powder. Okay. Uh... What was I doing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Programmable speaker. Tell us when we've got... Tell us when between... No, we can just use the green wire. If uranium fuel cell... Is greater than or equal to 5k... How about... Game one. Cool, cool, cool. Your cell count healthy. Sean, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Easy win, yes indeed. Seems to be doing fine, all this logic over my head. Uh, I was where you are once. It's one step at a time. We've now got the ability to make radio telescopes and all the other types of telescopes, I believe. But the autocrafter is ra rushing to catch up with other things at the moment. Tragic. Are you basically recharged? Pretty much. Go build more of... Actually, I need to see how built this is. Um, let's send the construction train to build rail first. It's not that short on RoboPort power. Okay. I'm seeing these trains appearing pretty often all of a sudden. I think I think we can go as far as to only have these delivered when we've got 10 stacks or something. I think I'll set this a little bit lower as well. Otherwise, we might not actually get there. Bill it B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I see you finally set up a scaffolding train. Indeed I did. We even have a concrete train. Uh, which is currently set to concrete. What should I... Let's concrete this one. This is our only train left on the planet that uses the old locomotives. But it doesn't need to go fast. It really doesn't. Let's set it to 30 seconds of inactivity, because the bots, the bot orders when it comes to placing tiles appear in waves that are quite far apart sometimes. Whoa, not this time. Beautiful. Much tidier. Okay. Back to space. Where we are delivering more heat shielding. Uh, and we're trying to make gamma ray telescopes, but we don't have aeroframe scaffolds. Aeroframe scaffolds are already saturated. Fantastic. Time to make a vanilla schedule train to run aeroframe scaffolds. 
Um, once again, we've got pieces of concrete that haven't been filled in, though. I do have enough concrete in the train to fill an entire block. But stuff like this still happens. Wait. It's still in range to build this. Yeah, and it still has concrete. Dude, do your job. You're going to hit 30 seconds of inactivity. No, I don't think that's going to happen. Whatever. Let's, uh... Let's get our stuff together to make... To make a cargo train. We need... Uh, 14... Uh, advanced electronic engines. We need 10 big portable solar panels, two space locos, two space cargo wagons, and a dream. And I'll need to drop by the nearest depot just to give it some batteries conveniently. This spot will do, as long as no trains are coming in right now. All right, so we need to give it seven uh, advanced electric engines and just enough big, so big portable solar panels to support that. Weirdly enough, the uh, power armor solar panels work all the time. And that's it. And you've already got all the fuel cells you need. Uh, now I just need to give it a schedule. I would like to copy the color or most of this thing's schedule actually. So we've... You know what? I should make a blueprint for it. Do I have a loco here? I do. I think this will be easier. It hasn't used any fuel yet. Oops. Oh, bollocks. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay. So we're going to grab the old... Uh, blueprint that I had. Vanilla train. It doesn't snap to... Uh, just put it over here. I'm only, I'm, I'm only borrowing it for the schedule. Why do I only have one space locomotive in my inventory? Where did the other one go? Where is the other one? What? Did, did you take it? No? What? What? Who stole my space locomotive? Is it on the ground? Oh no, don't tell- please don't tell me it's on the belt. Oh no. No, no, no. It can't be on the belt. Is that? Okay, that's a random cargo wagon. This supports the idea that it ended up on the ground somehow. Um, give me some bloody space in my... In my inventory. <laughs> Let me pick this up so I can see. There it is. Okay. All right. Okay. What you doing? Just got back from breakfast with my dad. What did I miss? Uh, you missed me misplacing a train for a second there, among other things. Okay. So they've already got their stuff in them too. Okay. So we're going to copy the schedule. And then... 
that's going to be our template uh, for the space version of this. Trains and nothing else. Space locomotive. No uh, schedule. That'll do. And I think I want to rename. Because Vanilla Train is kind of a misnomer. They're all vanilla. LTN uses vanilla trains. It just gives them dynamic schedules. Okay. So we're picking up scaffolding. And we're going to the depot up in space to wait and see if this train stop is available. Then we go there and empty. We don't need a depot on this side. Uh, as long as there's only the one train ferrying scaffolding, it can just go straight there. Even if there's not enough there yet, it can go and try and pick up. So we go down the elevator, go pick up scaffolding, wait until full. We're obviously not going to send an LTN train while there isn't enough there. While this train is taking all of it, if it's practically empty. Um, I should set the provide stack threshold for LTN higher. We'll double the storage capacity in these two and set the provide stack threshold to 200. So this has to be full enough to load up two trains before LTN will take any. That way, uh, by the time LTN schedules a train to pick up this stuff, the vanilla train could come and take a train load and then the LTN train could take one. Um, although maybe LTN would schedule two trains, unless I put a train limit. Come to think of it. That should be fine. It's already almost full. And I think that's it. Let's go for a ride. Here we go. God, I love how fast these trains are. That's with seven advan uh, advanced additional electric engines in there as well, to be clear. And up the elevator we go. into the depot, and wait and see if this train stop has a train limit greater than zero, which it doesn't because I haven't, I've deliberately not set it to work yet. Off we go. This way I can keep track of which ones I've already set up. And then... Because I set the provide stack threshold a little bit higher on this side, we're going to need a second trip before LTN can take some. And we're already almost there. More scaffolding. The, Im the slight imbalance here didn't even cause it any problems. Fantastic. So this will keep repeating until we've got a full train waiting at the depot. Uh, not delivering to here because it's also saturated. Which actually... Oh, I was going to say... Yeah, it hasn't happened yet. I'm pretty sure I can set all of these to one second as well, but that's going to be a lot of trains to update. I have already updated the um, cargo... 
uh, the, the material testing pack to only wait one second because it's got such a small stack size it's hard to keep up. Well, we literally can't keep up with one train um, with how fast these machines can go, but we're bottlenecked on resources anyway. And then it's probably going to have to wait a little while to get another train load here, which is fine. So we're bottlenecked on poles, which are bottlenecked on beryllium plate. That's a little scarier than I expected. How is Beryl? Um, Beryl's all going to space. It's not keeping up at the moment, which I'm not shocked by. Especially because we just started making um, blank observation frames, although they are saturated now. That did not take long. Okay. Um, let's get our scaffolding train to take a little trip over here. Hopefully all that scaffolding will be done after that. Barrel core fragments have been pretty steady for almost nine hours. That's good. Oh, and I guess I can take that off my to-do list. We've done the error frame scaffolding here. I mean, I don't really need a to-do list, because I'll just notice that I don't have a train for that when I go for that resource upstairs, but it doesn't hurt, that's for sure. Okay. What's next? What is next? Actually building these? That'd be good. How many telescopes do we have? We've got X-ray, we've got microwave. Um, do we not have gamma ray telescopes? Oh, we're still waiting for the scaffold. Because I probably haven't requested them here yet. Yeah. That should trigger a delivery pretty much straight away. No? Aeroframe scaffold. Oh, don't tell me they've already been delivered somewhere else. Uh oh. There's slightly less than one train load here. So I think the answer is yes. Actually, how would that happen that we've got like 99 stacks? And not quite a full stack here. That's very strange. Oh, there's a little bit in here. Is like eight times three. That still doesn't account for just over a stack missing here. I wonder how that happened. Regardless, I think I will personally deliver a bunch of aeroframe scaffolding to the mall. Because we really don't need that much to get these telescopes done. How much do we need? We need like... holy crap, 120 per telescope? But we need like 24 of them. That's 3k, and then... This one's half as much, so 4.5k... Would be more than enough. But I would have to carry 90 stacks? No! Okay, what if I drop the provide stack threshold just for a little bit? Is that going to the mall? Uh, it is. Cool, cool, cool. Take me with you. 
probably not going to pick up as much as it asked for because it's going to get stuck in here. That's fine. That's why we stack, uh, set the provide stack threshold a bit higher. My goodness, look at it go through those corners. It is nice, isn't it? All right, so that'll be our telescopes. I'd hate to be a passenger. Why would you hate to be a passenger? I cannot fathom. Uh, scaffold needs to go in here, and we need to allow it. in the big box. Fantastic. Alright. Gamma ray telescopes, here we come. Not to mention everything else. Casually experiencing 3Gs at every turn doesn't seem fun. Why not? Sounds fun to me. Uh, and we need the quad build here. And it's actually like... Uh, visible goes up here. And infrared goes here. And this one is UV, and this one is microwave. Not X-ray. Silly. Cool, cool, cool. Is this one the right way around? I can't tell because we don't have the recipe yet. We don't have the ultimate uh, sushi recipe here yet, either. Okay. What is this stack to? 15. Oh, here we go. We got 24 of each. Let's go. Let's go. We might need a second trip to finish that, because there's lots of belts and stuff. Oh, we already placed a bunch of them. So that might just get it done. Except that the bots are going to jump way over here to build belts instead. Alright then. Go back to the mall, and then when you're done, come back here. Try again. Except you should be able to place all of the gamma and x-ray. So let me give you some radio telescopes instead. If you can fit them, that is. At least you wouldn't have to buy a ticket to ride the train since they can't check it before you arrive at your destination. <laughs> Indeed. Chrono, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, I forgot to get rid of these power packs. Here is fine. We do load the power packs into our construction train. Actually, there isn't a single train in orbit that we don't use the power packs for. How's our spaceship doing? Spaceship is vibin'. Cool, cool, cool. Those copper core fragments have been a big help. We've got a guaranteed supply of copper, but also it makes the the copper mines that we do have last a lot longer. Very nice. I should really add some more short trains. I mean, technically it seems like two is plenty, but 
once we had a little traffic jam, we had literally no short trains available. That's not great. Of course, that little traffic jam happened because the robo network was no longer reporting how much stuff we have at the mall and we suddenly had 10 trains scheduled let's concrete the world how about this one save the world Fantastic. Some people say 4 to 6 Gs can be lethal. Others claim that humans can withstand up to 9. Well, it depends on your general fitness uh, and health, but also, I think it also depends on, like, personally being experienced with it and training with it. Pilots can, well, certain types of pilots can deal with a lot more Gs than other people. I need a sec to get a drink. Okay, how are we doing? Construction train is taking its sweet, sweet, sweet time to build this part. It's actually... 30 seconds of inactivity was almost not enough. I should just set it to a minute next time. You know what, I'll set it to a minute right now. I'll do it. Them bots just don't want to lay the concrete? Yeah. Fighter pilots trained to withstand 9 Gs. F1 drivers consistently do 4 to 7 during a race. That is higher than I thought. For the... Uh, for the F1 drivers. I guess it's not that surprising. If you think about it. And yeah. Uh, if someone's... Someone's trying to get you in their crosshair... I mean, I, I know most uh, dogfights don't work that way these days, but that's no excuse not to be prepared, right? If someone's trying to get you in their crosshair, you don't want to lose to just not being able to physically withstand the turn, if the plane can do it. Um, We need radio telescopes, and that's what I already tried to you up in here. We've only got 10. 10 will have to do unless I remove a bunch of stuff, which I can't be bothered with right now. Let's just do it this way. I guess I could try carrying the rest myself. That's 9, 10, um, leave some belts behind. That's another ten. That just leaves four more to go. They can pull insane G's, especially with modern thrust vectoring. Oh, with the, uh... Like, the exhaust... The output... Uh, the thrust output that can swivel. Like, uh... Like some of the engines in Kerbal Space Program. So you're pushing against a different spot compared to the center of mass of the uh, vehicle, right? Yes. Yep. 
Cortico. How much power do we have? Oh. Not that much. Um... I should really start upgrading our solar panels. Except I think we need Emesite. We've actually got everything now. We need uh, Aeroframe Scaffold was the, the final step to mass produce these. And they've actually already been delivered here? Did we not get them to the mall? We did. Well, we got a few to the mall. Um, and I don't think we finished our telescopes. So I'll probably go and steal this scaffolding back. Um, surprisingly enough, we do have a handful of flat solar panels. Tier 2. But yeah, we're not really ready to mass manufacture them. Not until... I think, uh... I think I want to make an outpost to get infinite Immersite sooner rather than later. But I'd really like to get spaceships first, but maybe I should do another outpost with cargo rockets. Just one more outpost of Sin. And then we can make it to spaceships. You did deliver them to the mall? Oh, so that was another... So it already consumed everything in the mall. Yeah, I remember. Pink pajamas. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Raptor engines and nuts. No afterburn required for... Mark flight, indeed. When can you do the solar ray thing and then have infinite solar power? You mean, like, beaming power? Uh, I do love beaming power, but it's a little way away. We need energy 3, I think. Uh, where is it? Yeah, energy 3 and material 3 and astro 3. So that's going to be after spaceships. How good are these batteries? Max output 2 megawatt. I'm not impressed. That's just double what we already have. And when we look at the power armor gear, it's outputting nowhere near enough. Lasers are just so, 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 so thirsty in Crastorio 2. Do you have enough radio telescopes there? Uh, never. Not even once. What about solar blocks? Yeah, I was just considering that, because as much as I would love to just upgrade all of these to um, uh, Holmium solar panels, I, I think at the moment we're going to have to have a bit of a stopgap. I may as well put it close to the mall. Like, it's going to be temporary anyway, right? Like, why don't I put it right here? Let's see what a nothing but solar block would look like. We don't need any train IO. Um, I kind of, I, I still want it to be like stampable, even though this is a stopgap actually. But you can transfer power through the elevators? Yeah, not that much. Only like... Is it 6 gigawatt, I think? Yeah, only 6 gigawatt. For the scale of space, it's really not that much. I should probably transfer power down and build more... Yeah, let's do a couple of these um, solar panel blocks. And... Send some power downstairs.
Let me figure out how many we can fit here. Is that as good as it gets? Is that, like, symmetrical? Oh, it is. Okay, I'm happy with that. I am definitely happy with that, actually. Except, not like that. That was shockingly easy. And then, let's just remove all the excess scaffolding. And make a blueprint. Well, this would be the easiest to build at the moment, but it's got all this unnecessary, like if I'm building this out of the way, it's got all this unnecessary rail anyway. I think I'd rather, I think I'd rather just have a self-replicating, why do, I've already got construction bots. Well, technically I've got no construction bots here, but I've also, I've, al I've already got a robo network here with access to solar panels. Why don't I just have uh, a self-expanding solar panel system right here? I don't even have to make new logistics for this. So you can't spam elevators for infinite power. You can, but uh, you're going to have to pay uh, space elevator cables to maintain them. So it won't be quote-unquote free power. It won't be the zero maintenance kind of power. Okay, so if I deliver scaffolding... this uh, robo network and give it a bunch of construction bots hurry up uh, I guess you're not bringing it all right No, don't put... What are you doing? No. Why do we even have this? I didn't even see that old stopgap there. That was totally unnecessary. Alright. Give those back. There should be certain filters on... these logistic chests and I would really like those last pieces of scaffolding give those back apparently we're extremely short on s oh wow oh wow I <laughs> we actually <laughs> uh well, we're not actually that short on scaffolding, but still. I guess we got a little bit carried away building everything all at once. No, 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 don't build over there first. Build this. There we go. And then we need four more of these. Oh, we've already got them. Alright, so you should all have the scaffolding filter. Fantastic. That is... Uh, 62,000 scaffolding that you've got room for storage for. I don't think we need that much. All at once. Noobna? 
Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Only two elevators can transfer per planet. That's kind of arbitrary. It's very arbitrary. There's never something like too much scaffolding. Alright, um... We're only making scaffolding here, actually. And I don't think I've got a mechanic... Oh, I do. If we have 150 stacks of something... We've got 10k here. Which is 100 stacks. Which is probably... That's another 48, that's another 4... Okay, we can reach um, over 150 stacks of scaffolding, but it's obviously not happening for a little while. Um, so I'll just borrow the scaffolding train at first. But the idea is... We'll just have bots... Build our solo. Once our scaffolding catches up again, um, we'll be able to expand this automatically and remotely. What the? There we go. And probably leave that there. How's our power looking? Well, for now it's fine. But while we were... Oh, this isn't connected. That would probably help. Um, I'm just going to throw together some pylons for the moment. No, don't do that. Okay. It's just... I was going to say just barely enough, but apparently the spikes are not enough still. There's probably a few things that I could throw some efficiency modules in that I haven't yet. Mr. Ray Ray, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Morning, day, night. I hope you're having a good day. Thank you. Alright, let's expand. And expand out this way as well. Why don't we just go as far as the uh, construction bots can reach at the moment? Let's 
it's not tied or anything. Um, but yeah, we're really struggling to catch up with the scaffolding at this point. We're suddenly asking too much. Construction mode for Roboport? Oh yeah, good point. Actually... Yeah, no, that should work. So we can probably have... Oh, let me pick those up. We could probably have this further up. And we can have a few more solar panels this way. Um, and this is obviously going to be able to be further. Build it in the auto builder? Oh, we are doing that already, but there's higher priority things that are being made. I'm pretty sure I've got scaffolding in here somewhere. Yep, there it is. Although it is limited to 1k. What if we set it to 20k? Also, I was going to steal scaffolding from here. Alright. You only need four more of these. And why don't we take several of these while you're at it? Because you can't fit all of that. That's probably why. Sander, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so eventually scaffolding will get delivered here automatically. Um, oh, is it happening? Oh, nope, nope, that's something else. That's, that's a totally different thing. That's not how that works. But yeah, we've already got our uh, self-expanding solar power network here. It's just that we've fallen behind after building so, so, so much scaffolding all at once. Alright. Oh, construction train. Has gone and done its thing. That should include the last four radio telescopes. Yes, fantastic. They're just taking their sweet time deciding to build those. Did I, did we connect the power? We did. Oh, I should, oh, I already did connect it up here. Yikes. Okay. How's this looking? Not that bad. I believe we haven't stopped getting barrel. Oh, it literally just crashed 15 minutes ago. Uh, why is that? Liquid rocket fuel, again. Is this the planet where we are sending? Solid rocket fuel? Oh, that's a lot of raw imasite. In easy reach as well. Maybe... Oh, wow. <laughs> I should probably go over there and do the same processing block as I did on the other planet. Uh, liquid rocket fuel. Here we go. 
It is coming. It's just, uh... It's just, just a little short on light oil. Just a little short on crude oil. I think we're probably out of crude. Oh yeah, no, this is the planet where... Yeah, 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 yeah. This is, this is it right here. This is literally our last crude oil on the planet. Um, that I'd just forgotten to tap. And we are sending solid rocket fuel. Let me see. The planet is called Exorion, right? I believe we're sending solid rocket fuel to Exorion. But... It's a lot. Have we actually bottlenecked on solid rocket fuel here? Oh, oh I was going to say it doesn't look like it, but yes, yes we have. Okay, since we've got practically infinite oil on Hagen, um, or at least I think we do, crude oil, uh, entity, uh, yes. Yes, we do have quite a bit of crude oil on Hagen. That's that's not going to run out before we set up a spaceship to go to a crude oil planet, I think. Um, that is a lot of oil, yes. Yes, it is. We've still got 2.1 mil here, for example. 924k, 822... Alright. I think we should just make another... Another block to make uh, rocket fuel. Why don't we do it right here, next to this old one? Looks like all of those are empty. Why is this one not empty? Oh, it doesn't go anywhere. Oh no. Let me go and fix it. Into the spell elevator. Oh. What? What? What's wrong with... What's your problem? Uh, okay. You're one of the ones that doesn't go to a depot first. Oh, this thing has a train limit. And you're skipping a depot. That's not a good combination. Just don't enable train limit. It's fine. Okay. Okay. I think I might have set up two trains to do that resource. I could be wrong. Oh, I probably set train limits on these because I made two blocks. So that we can not have the train go to the same one every time. But then... Then we get that behavior. Unless I send it to a depot first. That's... Why that that's the main reason that we send it to a depot. Or originally we were gonna send it to a depot on both sides. Alright, so go to Vanilla Depot wait for inactivity. And you don't need to wait five seconds. Seems good. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we were gonna double liquid rocket fuel, and I wanted to get that mine out of the way. Well, we were gonna double solid rocket fuel, actually. Is the main thing. Oh hey, this old thing got emptied. 
Nice. Speaking of emptied. Be gone, old iron. There's still 1.5 mil here because I forgot a belt. And we've got... F uh, let's call it 3.9 blocks waiting to be used, more or less, because we're trying to get this uh, out of the way. Did we get rid of the old power poles here? We did not. Uh, could we have this reach across here? That works. Down with old power poles. Down with old mines. Double, double checking, but yeah, all of this is empty. Speed mods? Mm, we've had some power issues. I want to calm down on that for a little while. Speaking of which, uh, how much uranium do we have here? Ten stacks doesn't have me that excited, but at least I'm not alarmed. There's no steel here. But there is steel here. Oh no, I didn't put a filter... Mm. How about this then? Now it's got the filter on it. Nope, there's still stuff in there. Okay. That should actually work. That's the theory anyway. Okay. Okay. Back to trying to be productive. You? <laughs> Indeed. Uh, we need to power this, of course. Actually, why don't I just... ...do this? Fantastic. Is it going to be okay with that bit of rail missing? It might be. Let's see. Wait for inactivity. And I would like to copy all of this over yonder. Uh, get rid of that old mess. Rock is in the way. Big power pole is in the way. Fantastic.
Can I fit a mini beacon? Do I have mini beacons? We don't have mini beacons. They're kind of high tech, actually. We need some fuel refineries. We also need more atmospheric condensers. Uh, we could also use some efficiency modules. Things are not free. Make our uranium go a bit further. And let's get construction train to come back after resupply. There are some settings you might want to set up before jumping in. Uh, for LTN, is it? Editor extension. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, if you want the parallel surface while you're playing a game, uh, as opposed to having a separate save where you mess around with stuff, you want to go to Settings, Mod Settings, and the Per Player tab. And once you go there, the last setting under Editor Extensions is the Testing Lab. That way you can have this uh, surface that runs parallel to your to your main, uh, the rest of your save. Um, so you can keep the game running while you're doing this. Is something off here? No, I think we're good. I'd also like to put some E3s in here. Whoop. Thought I missed one over here, but apparently not. Where's our train? Here it doesn't come. I must have got the... the ordering in the wrong... the ordering in the wrong order. Yes. Skipped one module? I did? Or did I fix it after I skipped it without noticing? No, here it is! Also, the train still doesn't seem to have these. What? Condenser. Didn't the train build most of the... Oh, was it in range of the roboports? Oh... Uh, wait, what? Yeah, I think that's how they got built. Okay. Sneaky. Conden oh, I see them. Atmospheric condensers. Get in there. Alright. Did we miss zero condensers? I think so. And let me check the ratio here. Since I just jammed prod modules in without... Oh, we're bottlenecked on oxygen anyway. Okay. Can't do much better than that, at least not in the rail block. Hmm. Oh, this should be greater than a thousand. Since we've... Uh, 
since we've increased our cargo wagon size, we should let this get to a thousand solid rocket fuel before we let it through here. We're actually saturated on liquid rocket fuel. So maybe I shouldn't even bother making the liquid rocket fuel here. Or I could wait until it's really saturated. So 320 plus 100 stacks. Uh, 4,200. Um... Make it greater than 4k. Did you finish the changes on Nalvis? Uh, what changes on Nalvis? We, we did some stuff on Nalvis, but I came back... Uh, I, I could honestly lose 600,000 hours to Nalvis. I, I don't want that to happen. I've got... Uh, pile drivers slowly chipping away at the biters. We've got the defenses fixed slash upgraded. We've got pollution eaters. Oh wow. That's all of the pollution on Nalvis right now. Uh, I fixed the... I gave it the updated um, storage system? Question mark? Uh oh. Oh no, it's making sand. Oh no. Oh, I knew this had happened, but I overlooked it. Um... SF Hobbit, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. How's your stream today? Oreo, fantastic. Um, I think I'll just... I think I'll just never let sand get scrapped. I mean, never let stone get scrapped. Maybe I could do a sand pickup from here. Oh god, I didn't make a construction train. Oh no. Why didn't I make a construction train? I never wanted to come back here. Okay, um... Enable train limit zero. We're never coming to this side again. That's how it's gotta be. This, this train stop is defunct. And we're never picking up stone if this gets super full, which I'm shocked that it did. We're just going to hope we find a use for the stone. Because I haven't set up a sink for it. Literally gave up on solar and started building reactors again after 300k panels. What? Why would you... Did you start sending vanilla core fragments to Hagen? Uh, not as fragments. I've already got all this production chain in place. I've been sending uh, iron, copper, steel, ingots, uh, rare metals, heat shield LDS, and coal, and theoretically uranium to Nalvis. But yeah, our infinite stuff got stuck because we dumped stone into a crusher, and now it has sand in it. Also, maybe I should have put a few more crushers here, despite not expecting much throughput. But I also noticed we had a whole lot of trains... Um... What are these trains waiting for? It's trying to pick up crude oil. No. It says it's trying to drop off crude oil. Why are the pumps backward? And why, if we're only asking for 100k, is this full? What? 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 Oh. 
Hold on. It's also linked to the old... To the old reactors, uh, old refineries. But these were empty before. But now they're not, I guess. Oh, that was silly. Hmm. Uh, I could extend the robo network out. Add another container. Add a pump facing this way. But why are the pumps backward? This is a requester station. This is full... What I don't get is how this is full of crude oil and we've got... I guess we had a request and then it was never able to drop off and because the pumps were back. It's because the pumps were backward. Okay, let's extend the robot network up here. Alvis. Ooh, Nalvis. Construction mode. Have another one up here. That should be all we need. We have a bot on the way to build that. Fantastic. And then we should be able to make a couple more containers here. That's going to need power as well. And let us know what's in here. Okay. And then all these other trains are probably going to start being able to move. So now we're dropping off even more crude oil. Good, fantastic, yes. Uh, stone, fuel, coal, more coal, even more coal. I don't think I have a coal drop off that goes to the main bus, actually. I wonder where that coal's going. No, it does co come down here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No more Nalvis. Boo Nalvis. Could you get those crushers in construction range? Probably. Um, come to think of it, I think I've got the same mistake here where we would send um, we would send stone to the crushers um, I guess I could have like a sand output down here but that would just get full eventually anyway but also I did this lovely little tiny resupply of space train power pack uh, system look how relatively neat and small that is Since we had nothing to do with this space over here, I thought I may as well have the one train... The, the train whose one job is to bring stuff back here. Uh, it'll be good if it didn't go all the way to some other depot. Uh, a, a vanilla depot specifically, because otherwise it'll be given a different schedule. Um, to come all the way back up here to pick up Rhinite Powder, for instance. Can have an outsider go into an assembly machine making landfill from sand, then go back to the crusher. Yeah, if it comes to that, um, I'll definitely do it. But be because we've been uh, short on stone through most of this run, I'm really not worried about that. Besides which, it's the stone that comes from infinite sources specifically that has to pile up. And this is a high priority pickup as well. Oh, that sh oh, yeah, yeah, this is slightly above normal. On oh, Nalvis? Uh, 
Yeah, maybe. Okay, how many squirrels are we going to chase today? Uh, solid fuel is getting made here, theoretically, but not actually, not for a very long time. Liquid rocket fuel gets made here. It's really the solid fuel that we need because we need it to go to Exorion, which has no more oil, so that we can send back a uh, barrel. Oh, this one's just about ready. It's an inserter, except it's going outside instead of inside. Outserter, yes. I've said outserter lots of times. And you can't prove I haven't. Okay, how's our scaffolding? 14k. It probably means we've got scaffolding here. We do not. Uh, we're probably just a about to have a train request scaffolding over here. Koha, thank you very much for the three months of the Prime. Very much appreciated, thank you. And welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Um, scaffolding. Hurry up and hit 15,000. Yes, there it goes. So that should... Oh, wow, it's already done. Yep. There's our train coming to pick up the scaffolding. And it should be taking it over here. Fantastic. Obviously, I could have just manually grabbed some and put it over here. But now we know that it works automatically. That sort of sounds like you're just making up words. Uh, yes, that's how words work. That is... That is indeed what language do, but we all sort of have to somewhat agree on the words. Although, when you combine existing words and it's pretty obvious what you mean by them, uh, I guess there's like some grey areas? Like, I mean, in that instance it doesn't matter that much. If someone doesn't agree with your use of words, if you get your meaning across? I'm sure there's a massive rabbit hole of very smart people who've written a lot about this sort of thing. I'm just musing out loud. Okay. So here we have... Where's our scaffolding? Hurry up. This actually takes a while to load because it has to be a smart loader. And inserters... I was going to say inserters can't compare with bulk rail loaders and unloaders, but now that we've got superior inserters, um, it might be quite a bit closer. These are not superior inserters, however. These are standard stack filter inserters. In fact, they've got an arbitrary stack size of 10, so that we don't end up having them sticking out afterwards. Alright, away goes our train. Fantastic. And, oh, we should probably signal that. Uh, and now we've got scaffolding here so that we can automatically expand. That's a lot of scaffolding, though. 6.2k, they can already do it. We'll come back here a little bit later and expand the solar panels. Cool, cool, cool. How's our production of solid rocket UL? Um, hasn't gone up that much. That's odd. I know we're making it on other planets, but I was expecting a more dramatic change than that. One per second, two per second. 
Why did you choose to put down accumulators in orbit? Uh, because sometimes there's spikes. Like, look at this, for instance. There was some there were some pretty violent power spikes earlier on. If we had enough accumulators, they would have been able to smooth that over. I don't really see it here though. But yeah, before we expanded our solar here, when it was just down this way. Um especially while some of our new builds were catching up. Um, I was seeing, like, we had enough power, and then for, like, two milliseconds we didn't, and then it's back to normal, stuff like that. Train and bot recharging spikes? That... Um, I don't think for the scale of orbital power that that's going to add up that much. Energy capacity 16 megajoules. I can't remember how quickly they can output. Tesla coil. Tesla coil. Uh, last hour. Yeah, they're pretty spiky. I mean, if you look at a scale of 10 minutes. Anyway, uh, we're just going to be adding a lot more panels up here, regardless. Out and true. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What are the radio telescope arrays for? They are for making... Uh, where are they? I haven't actually built them yet, have I? Oh, we have. Uh, radio wave observation frame, which for some reason... We don't have... Uh, the recipe set for. There we go. And these will go into yet another... Oh, we don't want to make that many. Uh, these will go into yet another data card over here. Speaking of which... We have plenty of microwave telescopes, fantastic. Don't need any more radio wave ones. Wait, do we? Uh, no, we got them. Uh, what's this? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I would like to get all of these placed in two trips, but I would have to take too many things out. Oh, and you're trying to squeak in here as well. Uh, empty yourself out so the bot can sort itself out. There's another one in there? Okay, never mind. Wait, 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 wait. Don't don't put in Don't put in the scaffolding right now. There we go. And then we can probably fit twenty-four microwave telescopes. Scaffolding is no longer your job. Don't need to worry about it. Why do we not have delivery cannon chests? Oh, here they come. Uh, so that is 16. And I would have to take out all these base platforms to... make room. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23! No! Why are there four more construction bots in there again? Why are you like this? 
take out the additional the add-on power poles. Okay. That should be enough to place all of our radio telescopes. Uh, microwave, sorry. And then we need way too many 56 uh, astrometrics facilities. Which we've already got 35 of. How, how do they stack? They stack to 15, so that's like four stacks. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. I think we can put some of those things back. How's our solar looking? Oh, nice. Get in there. And new RoboPort. Oh wait, copy paste because of the construction mode. And go about... Well, it can actually go so far that I'll have to put a temporary one. I'm realizing we don't have substation pylons here. Or RoboPorts, for that matter. Except... If I do it this way... I'm gonna have to ask for a hundred stacks of these things. I think I'll just dump a bunch of them in there. Because I can't have different... Uh, provide or request stack thresholds on the same uh, on the same train stop. In we go. Okay. Have some robot ports. Have some pylons. That should last a little while. Let's get even more robot ports though. Fantastic. I don't think we really need that many more radio telescopes. Oh boy. No, that's not what I meant to do. Alright, what do you got? Plenty of astrometric facilities. Go build. Oh, you're still loading. What are you loading? Pipes? Sure. Oh, why don't I... Wait, wait, wait. What's the stack size on the superior inserters? It's still 12. In a sense, I'm disappointed. But in a different sense... I'm glad I don't have to change any of the logic. Uh, let's see. Superior filter inserter. It's the purple one. Let's go. That's going to be a lot quicker. I think they also um, swing faster. 
1296 degrees per second as opposed to 846. Well, if they have the same stack size, they'd have to swing faster to be faster. And let's make these ones faster as well. Fantastic. What? What? No. What did I press? Alt Y? Okay, so Y goes straight to... Huh. Okay. I was trying to reach for Alt U. There we go. Roy de Peace. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Pink pajamas also, if I didn't say so. Okay, I'm excited to see how quickly our space train gets loaded next time. Our construction train. Go, go, go. And you can go up as far as you can while still being in the same grid with the solar panels. And still connected. What is this? Get it out of my sight. Oh, we're gonna need those signals there. Gazelnik, thank you very much for the five months of Prime. Much appreciated, thank you. And a welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. And I know it's a little early for everyone. I mean, it's extra early for everyone. It's a little early for me. But uh, Happy New Year, and may it not be as filled with man-made horrors beyond our comprehension. Uh, we're going to need... I'm going to need an unfiltered storage chest, just because occasionally we're going to get things like that space rail picked up. Or well, I guess probably never again, but whatever. Just have to account for anything extra like that. Alright, let's keep going. Happy New Year. I'll have to wait just shy of 12 hours before it's 2023 20, here, indeed. I think some people are most of a day behind. Well, yeah, that's how that works, actually. If you stop to think about it for just a moment. Alright, is there anything else I really should be researching that I haven't yet? Beryllium low density structure. Well, considering we're short on beryllium at the moment, I don't think that's uh, that high of a priority. I could get Astro 3 unlocked. That seems like a good idea since I'm working towards spaceships. And why don't I do a few more zone discoveries after that? 2023 in New Zealand right now, I think they're only a couple of hours ahead of me, actually. So, so no, no, that's, that's what they call in the business a lie, melindrome. Have you tried shapes? Uh, uh shapes.io? I think I have, yeah. It's not bad. So yeah, that's like 50% faster as expected. Same stack size, faster swinging. 
Was there a hope for spaceship research today? I don't think so. There's too many squirrels. And even if there were no squirrels, it would still be pretty challenging to design and build that much stuff. Um, do we have any more speed modules lying around here? We do. Okay, you didn't have to get so excited about it that you exploded, but I appreciate the effort. 12.16 a.m. in Auckland? Oh, really? Hang on. Let me see. Time in... Oh. Auckland. Time in Auckland. Oh, you're tr No, you're right. UTC plus 13. Wait, I thought if I'm GMT plus... What is it? 10? then no one would be more than two hours ahead of that. Oh, do they have, like, daylight savings or something? Cheating. That's cheating. We need more belt over here. Uh, and we've probably already placed all the ast astrometrics facilities. Oh, there's a few missing, it looks like. Yeah, there are. That's weird. Did I miscount? No? We are... Oh, there's some over here. That's why. The the construction train had more range than I anticipated. Okay. Uh, I would like to first make sure we get the belts done for these other builds. And then we'll move forward one block at a time. Just to keep things relatively organized. They change to be first, total cheats, indeed. Artur's Lakik, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's grab our scaffolding train, make sure this is all done before construction gets there. And inactivity 15 should be fine. For some reason, the bots are a lot more responsive making scaffolding than they are making uh, concrete, for example. Speaking of which, Let's make this one concrete. We'll go inactivity 60 seconds to make sure it actually does its job. Cool, cool, cool. How has our flow of testing packs... Oh, wow, wow. okay. Seems good, actually. If there isn't a train here waiting at the moment, it's probably saturated. Uh, let's see. Testing. Uh, oh. Well, now the train's going to be coming. Um, if it isn't already. Yeah, here it comes. Uh, but yeah, suffice to say, that has been catching up. We're actually bottlenecked on rare metals now. I wasn't expecting that. Won't we saturate? Didn't we dump raw rare metals earlier today? What? What's going on with you, rare metals? You're looking for enriched rare metals, which I think get made over here. There's no hydrogen chloride. Also, we don't have prod modules in there. Let's fix that. So... 
we dumped a bunch of rare metals because the raw rare metal input was saturated with rare metals, but not with hydrogen chloride, it seems like. Okay. Now, why don't we have hydrogen chloride? We've got chlorine. We don't have hydrogen. What Of all the things, why don't we have hydrogen? What? Are you kidding? Oh, oh. Did I just not bump this up enough after... After we upgraded our trains. Really? Okay. Alright. I see how it is. Didn't I have another build? A second build that does this? I don't think so, actually. No, no, I could have sworn I did this twice. Okay, I can search. Storage. Hydrogen chloride. This is the only output for it. So, yes, this is the only one. There's also no sand here? No, there is sand. Oh, we're controlling the input because fluorine has to be less than a hundred. A. And hydrogen chloride is chlorine plus hydrogen. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, maybe only because we're playing catch-up, but it might be time to give that some beacons as well. Even though I'm cringing in anticipation of what that... what more beacons will do to the power network. Maybe I should make another nuclear plant. How's our... Okay, our uranium fuel cells are piling up. That's excellent. I think it's time to make another nuclear reactor. Although... Well, yeah, as long as the steam, the turbines will run, the reactor itself is taking a break. Which is fine. Uh, anyway... We've got so many small beacons here... One, two, three, four, five, six hundred kilowatts. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve hundred kilowatts. That still doesn't really compare to 1.2 megawatts. Oh, sorry, to 20 megawatts. Why did I say 1.2 megawatts? That's exactly what it compares to. In fact, compare is the wrong word. That's just equals. Um, do we need any of the old power poles for this to work continuously? I don't think so. Okay, old power poles be gone. New power poles in. Uh, and then I realize that that doesn't fit there. Cool, cool, cool. But it will, once I'm done with it. Why are my bots not placing? Because I don't have them. Aziz. Give me power poles. As is light, indeed. We need some lighted pylons. Awesome cap, Vario, Bowen, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we puff as well. Was it just me, or did you place the concrete in the wrong zone? What do you mean? What? No? The construction train only placed this much, though, with a 60-second inactivity timer. Are you kidding me? This is the laziest construction train I've ever seen. How dare you, sir? Two minutes of inactivity. 
If it can't get the job with that, I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I can't exactly make it wait until empty. I can't make it detect when the bots are inactive. Well, that would just make it go home immediately anyway. You sent the train further southwest. No, I, I didn't. I placed it here. I checked that. I'm sure I did. Okay. Um, beacon? It's got to be to the right, or towards the outside, rather. Uh, and that is... we've got only two mod... Oh, these are prod twos. Yucky. And we obviously can't prod these. Let's give them the speed threes. That's what I meant with place the concrete in the wrong zone. I, I don't believe that's what happened that time. Let's see... The range of the construction train... If I placed it here... I don't think we would have had this straight line. I think it would have stopped like here. Probably. I'll have a look. Doesn't matter anyway, what's done is done. Give me those prod threes, which I've still got 71 of. Is that gonna be enough? It is... Yes, more than enough. Okay, so we've got negative 80%, negative 80%. Have some more speed. Negative 60, negative 80. I'm happy with that. And then we have, drumroll, uh, wow, 90 cent per second. Um, we actually need faster belts here now. What? Oh, that was the deconstruction planner. There we go. Fantastic. So, the sand can barely keep up when this is going full speed. Wait, the calculation changed. Or did I just... Huh? What? Wait, what's the difference between these two? Does this have less speed? No? 16 machines and 14 chemical plants. 16 electrolysis, 14 chemical plants. What about the modules? Oh, does the beacon not reach everything? It it does reach everything. What? Doopa doop. Fantastic. What's the difference here? Missing speed modules on the plants. Oh, on the ones on the left. On, I mean, on the left side of the right side. There we go. How did I get the speed twos out of there, though? If I... I'm... I'm confused. Did they not have speed twos? Anyway, now I think we're getting symmetrical. Not, no, the numbers are still slightly different. What is different? It's not sand. It... Stop, stop bonking me! How dare you! Prods as well. Oh, in the middle and... Okay, okay. Am I going to run out of prods? I think... <laughs> no bonk train. Okay, I think we've finally got this. Uh, that looks... To... Okay, yes. Yes, we did it. Mission accomplished. Are these inserters enough to keep up? Uh, probably not, but we're not actually trying to make any right now, because we get 
hydrogen out of this as well. Well, more to the point, chlorine is easy to keep up with. You know what, if we're gonna... If we're gonna theoretically... Why don't I just do it this way? If we're gonna theoretically make it go that fast sometimes, let's give it the means to keep up. There we go. Alright, hydrogen chloride. We've got some. Rare metals are not asking for hydrogen chloride. Why? Request thresholds should not be 70k, I don't think. I don't see why we would do that. But either way, it should be enough to trigger a delivery here. We're looking for 100k hydrogen chloride, and we've only got... 2.6. Um, so I'm not sure what is busted here. What is that emote? I, I can't click on it. Oh my god. Stop asking me if I want to pin or reply to this message. I just want to click on the emote. Nope. Never mind. Maybe I'll... Saluting? Saluting? Well, it'll forever remain a mystery. Morpheus, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, hydrogen chloride, negative 100k, quest threshold 60k, actual amount 2.6, uh, yes, and over here we've got, oh, just over 50k, it's not 60k yet, that's why. So how fast are we making hydrogen chloride? Uh, only 500, 4, 486 per second. We're almost at 60k though. There it goes. Also, we're pretending we've got 10k less chlorine, that's fine. Here it comes. Wait, wait, where are you going? No, no, don't go there. No, no. How could you? I can't believe you've done this. Somehow there's already 24k here. Is this, this is the same block, right? I guess that makes sense. Like 50 seconds later, there's 24k or so. Well, it'll it'll get there eventually. But I'd really prefer it would get there right now, so we don't potentially uh, trash raw rare metals when actually we need them. I could increase the request for rare metals here. That's the only solid that goes into this build. Uh, we can fit six train loads and change. So... 30,000? Theoretically, should never get uh, overloaded. It's a character? Oh, is that why I can't, like, mouse over it? He thanked us for the bunks that brought light to the missing modules. <laughs> Indeed. Um, okay. Let's concrete this as well. And 
inactivity. Lots of it. Okay, surely this is going to the right place. Nope. Alright, I'm hijacking this. We are going here. And I think there's only one train like, uh, station like that, so we don't need a temp stop. Now you're blocking each other? No, you're just waiting for your turn to get over here. This is the vanilla train, isn't it? It's gonna stay here forever. Uh, I don't want to send it up the elevator with half a load of... Why is this so slow? It's also only got prod 2s. That might require my attention, but more importantly, uh, I guess... Oh, don't jump on the rail. Let's just drive this backward for a minute. And away we go. So this guy is looking for fluid, chlorine from here. Oh no. The vanilla train's waiting here to pick up uh, lithium. Which is all going into this container, I think, before it even fills the vanilla train. Meanwhile, the chlorine, which is a side product, which we desperately have to get rid of, uh, is filling up and this train's unable to take it. Uh, I think I'd better add depot stop to this guy. Wait, we do have a depot stop. So it's because I got rid of the train limit thing. But I can't do a train limit here because... Uh... If I do a train limit while there's not enough lithium, we can't take away the chlorine. I think I should just have a separate... What are you doing here? What? what? Oh, I, I think that's my fault. I think I forgot to say empty cargo. Fortunately, you're not able to pick up a strange fluid while you're full of chlorine. Okay. Okay. There we go. We got there eventually. Oh, LTN. I didn't do an LTN schedule, so it doesn't know how to pick this up. Why? Greater than. There we go. Actually, I'm surprised if I make my own schedule to send a train here, it does give a signal from the logistic train stop output. I need to change this back as soon as this is done. There we go. Cool, cool, cool. And we finally have enriched rare metals again. Happy day. Okay, what I think I should do about that chlorine output is have another station. And as long as we're going to do another station, um, I think I would like... We'll probably just leave the low-level beacons here, so it doesn't cost as much power. But as long as we're doing another station, why don't I do a separate station for the vanilla train? Send it around, just us, just task it somewhere. Oh, is this a LTN train? Uh, I believe it is. Alright, it did sort itself out eventually. But I don't trust it. Let's maybe... Add a splitter down here. 
It finished loading lithium, cool. I I'm still not gonna just count on it to work that way. Let's get a delivery cannon chest. And... Give me some blue belt, cause why not? This doesn't need to be an LTN stop, actually. If we're going to have a stop specifically for a vanilla train, I want it to be an old vanilla stop. Just not because the LTN train stop can't do that, but because it's just kind of a shorthand. Holy fire. <laughs> uh, so where's our vanilla train? Here you are. Alright, so vanilla train stop comes after the usual station name. Oops. Lithium. Provide a vanilla train. And since there's just the one train to do this. Oh god. Since we've only got the one train doing this so far, it can just come here without a condition and wait till it's full. And we'll go 50-50, ground or space. No longer will we have vanilla trains coming here, on this side. Now that that's done, electrolysis plant... Prod modules... and go. And I'll obviously have to go back for more prods. I think the construction train carries them, though. It does. Let's park over... here. And that way we'll get more out of our lithium chloride. Which probably also needs an upgrade. It does. Can the construction train reach that far? I don't think so. Please come over here after you've done that. Which looks like you're already finished. Fantastic. Did we not bring enough prods for two blocks? That would not shock me. Yeah, we didn't. Okay. I also wanted to concrete this block. Looks like we're ready. I don't understand why you use LTN pass delivering multiple items to a single stop. Can you explain? Uh, it's easier, more efficient. I mean, once you learn it, it's easier. Razor K, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Zinder, welcome also. Uh, being able to do multiple things at one stop is extremely useful, to say the least. But... Oh, I can't actually shift click to put those in here. Oh, sorry, shift C. There we go. Um, you need way fewer trains to accomplish the same thing with LTN. I mean, look at this. All of these trains are just sitting idle almost all the time. 
uh, I mean, part of that is because we've caught up with how far we can go um, with our space builds at the moment. Well, most of them have this probably some material shortages somewhere. But vanilla trains with one job uh, spend an awful lot of time sitting here saying destination full. Unless you don't have enough of them. Um, with uh, LTN trains, you've got a bunch of trains sitting here in depot ready to respond to whatever request. And you don't need nearly as many to start having idle trains. Happy New Year indeed. I'm not late, you're late. Well, it's not that late yet. I've got a couple of hours. Uh, and I've also got a bunch of prod modules I need to deliver up here. To lithium sulfate, I think it's called. Lithium chloride. Difference. I'm sure someone who knows chemi chemistry probably cringed to death. Uh, I want to update the wire the power poles, but I'll do it this way. Switch off. Switch off. Move you over here, and green wire goes across here, and no red wire. Um, the red wire has to find its way across here also. Does that reach? No, I would have done it if it did. Is it a problem if... Yes, it is. Hmm. find a way. Out with the old power poles. In with the lovely shiny new island substations. What? Why did that disconnect? Probably had it connected to something else, that's why. So unfortunately, if I piggyback the red wire across here, these conditions are going to be met from the negative signals from the constant combinators. I think they got me. I think I need a add-on power pole here. Or something arbitrary to reach across. Why is this not connected? Oh. Do these have these have products finished? How is it connected? Oh, over here. Okay. That was a mistake that we never paid for. Uh, yeah, give me... Give me some add-on power poles. Figures. Uh, get out of here. And also get out of here. Are you WA time zone? Uh, no. East Coast. Where are we going? Which build was it that I was updating? This one.
This makes me sad. But it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. Alas. Also, what's gotta be done is... Tier 2 modules gotta get out of my inventory. So, JMO, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. IRL cars spend a lot of their time sitting in a parking spot. We don't need that many, but sharing is hard. Uh, it's not that sharing is hard so much as we've been immersed in propaganda against sharing our entire lives. Which makes it hard, in a sense. Alright, what's next? Oh, we nearly have Astro Science Pack 3, then we'll do some more Zone Discovery. And then... what's this? A Vanilla Train? That's okay. Did we get Barrel flowing anymore? Uh... that's bad. That's... that's not good. A Dendal. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Don't forget to turn back on the Combinators. Oh, good call. Thank you. Okay. Probably would have taken a while for that to cause a problem as well. What's your problem? Uh, no problem, you're just emptying a little slowly. Fantastic. Yellow train is expected to be like this. Look at the new rocket fuel build you made. New rocket fuel build. Uh, destination full. Oh, that's a... Wait, it's red. This is a LTN train. What do you mean, destination full? What? No. What? Um, where are you trying to go? Hold on. It's... I'm so confused right now. Oh, is the train limit busted? Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, I think I meant to stop using train limits on these stations that could have vanilla trains coming where, where possible. Because even if uh, the LTN train is physically there already, train limit zero, it won't be able to technically connect with the station. So yeah, don't set train limit. Or just, yeah, just don't have a train limit. Or I can have train limit, uh, train limit if there's more than a train load of stuff. Provide stack threshold to train loads, that's what I was trying to do here before. And then, I guess what could still happen is we've got one train load of stuff, vanilla train comes to get it, LTN isn't scheduled to get it yet. Nope, I'm still confused. Oh, because I didn't... no, wait. Yeah, this should be 5,000. 
5k. Oh, it shouldn't. 100 stacks times 10 is only 1,000. Oh, I was saying this has to be really, really full. The train limit to be greater than zero. So as soon as it dropped below 4k... I think I didn't need to change the combinator, but I wanted to keep the... Uh solid rocket fuel in here until it was saturated before we started making liquid rocket fuel. So this should actually just be set to uh, 1000 or a little bit more because we've got this. Let's try it this way. Set train limit. Um, train limit is 1 if we've got more than 1200. Oh wait, it needs to be more than one in some cases, so practically infinite if we've got more than 1200, but we're not going to change how that works. Who else is being bothered by youth with fireworks? How dare they on... New Year's Eve of all times. Actually, I'm surprisingly not being accosted by the sound of fireworks today. Which is surprising. Doop a doop. Time to do some zone discovery. Fireworks are banned here because AQI. Something index? Do they, do they make their fireworks too loud or something? Like, violently, dangerously loud. Air quality index. Oh. Wait, so the air quality is already so bad? Is it not a number that you want to go up? Uh, what squirrel are we chasing next? Or can we actually do something to further our goals? Like, directly. Yeah, we're still bottlenecked on rare metals now. Um, but we are constantly making them. I don't think it's urgent enough to add a beacon for this one. We've been going a bit crazy with beacons. To the point where I'm considering another power plant. It seems like we are doing okay with the uranium fuel cells now. Once we really start doing well with uranium fuel cells, um, then I would like to switch it over a bit. Ideal is 100, it goes up to 5. Jeez. That's terrifying. Alright, I kind of want to do another space build. Uh, what should we do next? Oh, did we even finish the actual building over here? Let's do a once-over with the ghosts constructor that's actually all finished except for some modules and this is missing a big container and a beacon a few beacons actually I can handcraft one big beacon uh, sorry one big container we've got a few big beacons And where the hell am I going? Over here. And hopefully I brought enough modules as well. I'm sure I brought enough modules, actually. To perhaps murder our power again? Oh, I haven't set the recipes here. That would probably help. Fantastic. What are we missing? 
Uh, gamma ray detectors. I haven't built those yet. Okay, what about modules over this way? Fantastic. What about recipes? Radio wave. Which was which? Top one is the reddish color. Uh, and that goes... But I could do either, actually. I kind of want the bottom to go to the bottom. Uh, so this one... This one is the purplish color. And this one is the reddish color. Did I label them right over here? I did. Brilliant. We need some blanks. I thought we had a million blanks. 7.5k is definitely... Uh... Sorry, it's stack size 50. It's well over 100 stacks. And we had tons of blanks. They were literally saturated earlier this stream. Wow. This was literally full earlier this stream, and we've taken all of them somewhere. Damn. Uh, I guess we're not getting those just yet. Radio wave observation frame, gamma ray observation frame, so these two. We're missing super cold and nothing else for the radio wave. Super cold just needs to catch up. I should probably do another build for thermo fluid. Maybe I should iterate on the design. I definitely would like to move all of these over a tile so I have a pump here decision-making to balance these two. Um, seems like we've got a lot of cold. I didn't, like, disconnect this or anything. Right? Right. We're very bottlenecked with cool thermofluid. We're actually bottlenecked on thermofluid itself, it looks like. Uh, we've got no shortage of inputs here. I think we're just demanding way too much of one block. Yeah, I think we need another block for thermo fluid. But I don't want to do that right now. Let me just put... Um, oh, fluid. Right up here. So I'll know that that's where I want to put that. Uh, and how's this spill? It's got blanks, it needs microwave. Microwave is in motion. Albeit, probably about to run out of... You're supposed to be limited... There you go. I think I already made the same mistake over here. Yep. Uh, microwave is already in motion. Maybe we won't run out of super cold. It looks like we're just about to. In before new block further power struggles? That's how it be. We've actually got quite a lot of spare power for the moment. Of course, that is because things are saturated or not in motion. Either saturated or starving. Uh, and this one was supposed to be astrometric data, but... Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think we have the final recipe for... Th Why are you not rotated? How dare you. Uh, we have the final recipe for this, but... We need every one of these cards for it to work. I think I would rather just make sure I get all of those than temporarily do a less efficient recipe, since we're not that far away. 
um, from getting that sorted out. So once all of this is working, um, that'll work too. Then we just, the only build we need to add, I believe, is gamma ray detectors. Uh, this is already saturated. One thing I didn't consider is one build is going to block another with this build. So I need to... it's not going to be a problem right now, but I need to put some kind of limiter. Uh, where is it? This one. Also, what's our new zone? Th 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 Thesaurus? Thesaurus? Let's have a look. Uh, it's kind of far away. It is... what is that? Rare metals. We've already got rare metals in the system. Biter meteors? No thank you. Uh, threat 100%? No thank you. Solar's kind of bad. Radius is moderate. Uh, it's not waterless or anything. Uh, yeah, I don't think I want to go there. I'm pretty sure we've got some... Yeah, this one's got 7% biters. Hyperion. And rare metals. I think there's another planet, at least, with rare metal core fragments as well. In system. Here it is. 0% biters. Waterless is the only problem. It's very small, so we don't have to pay that much uh, liquid rocket fuel. So we could just send ice instead of running out of crude oil again. Fascinated Lurker, thank you very much for the Prime sub. Much appreciated, thank you. And a welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, so how do I prevent... How do I prevent... You know, instead of trying to check how much is in here, which, of course, we have to worry about conflicts with the stations and stuff. Uh, I think what I'll do is just read from this container. And we'll say... If there's more than one stack of whichever item... Then don't output. Easy peasy. And actually, they're all going to look the same because I organized it as, uh, let's see, infrared, uh, what's this one, visible, and then UV. So, if infrared is greater than 200, if I was super lazy, I could use long arm filters here and, like, set blacklist. For whatever's in this chest. But uh, we're not going to do that. Uh, if infrared observation frame greater than... Oh, sorry, less than 200. Then output. And then we get to visible. Oh, I need to consider which side of the belt it's outputting to as well. We'll get back to that. Why don't I just copy all of these and then change? So this one's UV. This one is visible. And this one should already be correct. And then I want the bottom six to output to the far side. And 
send the top six to output to the near side. And then we just copy paste, flip, flip, and flip. Nice and easy. And that's it. Um, we don't quite have a train load of UV data, but as soon as a train comes for infrared observation frames or visible observation frames, it's going to make room for the UV data. So we don't have to do any anything special here right now. And then the belt will drain into this container. Cool, cool, cool. Did you solve the pyramid symbol puzzle the last playthrough? Uh, no, I did not. I got tired of it. Especially because uh, we had a pretty low UPS by then, and it was a lot of guess and check, and it takes a very long time to make a guess. Um... Didn't get any more research done while we were fixing that. Where do we drop off these frames? Over here. Oh, we've already dropped them off. Including UV. Okay. That shouldn't be a problem, though. I would love to see this, like, fix itself, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. Uh, and we've already got... We're missing blanks on this side. We're missing... Microwave on this side. Microwave is missing coolant. Radio is missing coolant. Um, gamma ray is missing maybe coolant, but also uh, gamma ray detectors. So let's do gamma ray detectors. Let me just turn this off before I jump into the editor. Um, how do we make them? I think they made in space manufactories. But I think this rem I, I think I remember the, this being a pretty small build actually. pretty easy to keep up with how much stuff we need. Uh, why don't I steal from myself here? Maybe blank observation frames. That has one, two, three solid, one liquid input. Uh, where are we going? Gamma... MRA detector. This also has two solids, two liquids, actually. Hmm. So we won't be needing the long arms. We can leave the rest of it here. I don't think our throughput is going to be that high for the output. This whole thing would only make 3.8 gamma ray detectors per second. And it would consume 266... Uh, six belts of blank observation frames. Yikes. I wish I could conveniently use a quarter of a build. without wasting a lot of space. It stacks to 50, right? Maybe I should just use short trains for this, but I think I've already done a build that takes them... Uh, takes double train drop-offs. Alright, let's see how we can lay this out. We obviously only need the one belt for output. probably do that in the middle even. Doesn't output scrap or anything? Nope. 
We could do ye old long arm inserters. I'll actually end up putting a belt back there anyway. Uh, assuming I can do the fluid inputs this way. What's the rate? Oh, I think the... F Frames were not part of this build, actually. <laughs> that makes more sense. Um, 30, 30, and 30. So, two half belts of each... Wait, it's three inputs. Wait. Oh, no, that... Yeah, two solids. Stop. Uh... Yeah, it's 15 in on each side. And only 76 fluid in. Okay, this is actually easy in terms of throughput. We're going to have multispectral mirror. We're going to have beryllium plate. Because there's no shortage of that. And... We just need I can't do both fluid inputs if I do it like this. How about this? We're in the wrong spot. And this? Wait. No, that doesn't. That doesn't track. I mean, this could reach up here, but I think it would be tidier if I do it this way. I think that's going to be as neat as it gets for the fluid input. And it's cryonite on the left both times. Uh, we also need to do multiple fluid inputs. Which traditionally we would do on the one side, but I think... Oh, right. What if... Is one fluid faster than the other? No, but they're both really slow. Could do them like this, actually. Maybe move that over a little bit. That doesn't quite reach, does it? This is a hundred K. I would rather have room for like double that. Could we maybe... Move this over a little bit. That won't even reach though, will it? That's not going to make things tidier. Why is this different? What am I scrolling through? Okay. Probably just do it like this. That's actually the same as if I did this. Okay. 
That looks weird. 55. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How do you scroll through your list of cut and pastes? Uh, shift and mouse scroll wheel. Is how you do that. Good morning, MV Hank. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Weepuff, welcome also. I didn't say so. Okay. If I move that over one tile, it would line up nicely. But this already doesn't line up down here, so whatever. This is going to be... Gamma Ray... Detectors... And... Which one should be Cryonite? Depends on how they conveniently line up. Oh, that's perfect. So this will probably be... Uh... I was going to say Crynite Slush. I meant uh, Chemical Gel. Um, oh, that lines up as well. Yes. 9, 10, 11, 12. Unfortunately, that would connect, so that's fine. Oh, wait, how many tiles is this? 4 plus 9? That's 13, isn't it? No. Yes. Yes, it is. That'll do, I suppose. Or we could do five and... Two fives and a three, right? If that's a three, it won't connect. That doesn't look too bad, I suppose. And then Cryonite... Needs to find its way over here. Oh, and whatever fits here. Seven. Seems good. Beautiful. And then... Move this way. However many tiles this is. I think it's seven. Fantastic. Uh, and then we've got... Oh. Yeah, let's do a fifteen. That's pretty tidy, even if that's a little bit lopsided. I don't think anyone cares. Okay. In we go. No waste products this time. We're going to have LTN tell us which fluid we're picking up. Oh, you're joking. No. How could you? Let's just piggyback across the belts there. Uh, so... This one's chemical gel. If chemical gel... gets a negative one signal from the logistic train stop output, it means the train is trying to empty itself of chemical gel. And a similar thing for Crynite Slush. Cool. So then we just need to request... Uh, in order, Crynite Slush Chemical Gel. And what was the other barrel plate? Multispectral mirror. That's a hundred stacks. Uh, we can fit three hundred 
stacks for each, so that's fine. Morning all, quick question. I'm catching up with this run on YouTube, but it looks like... Oh yeah, sorry, I haven't uploaded in a little while. I'll get on that. Uh, Tumble, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Unfortunately, I can't automate it properly. At least as far as I know. Uh, what's the other stack size? 200. Okay, beryllium plate. Oh, and we still, we only consume one of these each. Quite slowly. 30 per second, so like, just like 1.1 train loads of beryllium plate. Should be sufficient. Thanks, T Hex. No worries, you're welcome. Sorry I haven't updated them sooner. Uh, 100k for fluids. We can fit 200k. I don't think there's any risk of going over there. Alright, let's test it. Uh, but first, set filters blacklist is all we need to do for up to four items. And fluids. Fantastic. That's pretty tidy, I think. Let's get rid of the extra space scaffolding. And then put a little bit more than we technically need, uh, just so it looks a bit tidier. If we want to make it really tidy, we could use space platform plating for everything. But I think I'd prefer to just use that for special things. Not just because of the... Uh, the cost. Yeah, that's a pretty neat build, even if I say so. Especially considering what we had to do with the fluids. Alright. Let's be... Blueprinting? We've already done the output station... Not quite correctly. Uh, short trains are fine if we want to do that. This isn't actually as slow as I thought it was to fill up. Um, so this will be requesting a whole lot of stuff. Uh, I wish I could see what it was still. Multispectral beryllium plate, and I can see what the fluids are without checking again. It already requests beryllium plate. Uh, granite slush and chemical gel. And out comes fancy mirrors. Wait, it's not called a mirror. What is it? Gamma ray detector. Like I said, purple mirrors. And we've done the LTN settings. Okay, blueprint. Right after I double check that the wires are right. Once again, the stars are right. Fantastic. Okay. Uh, gamma ray detector. 
I wonder if I put uh, this in here. I'll be able to search for it. Eighty-six, twenty-five, one, and I think that's it. Snap two looks good. Let's put it next to. Oh, there isn't a build specifically for multi-spectral mirrors because we need them for solar panels, and I basically did them as a, like a side output. Okay, so I'm going to go into this blueprint book and I'm going to search for Fancy Mirror. No! How rude. Do we have to be specifically in here? We do. Well, could be worse, I guess. We can search for Fancy Mirror. But we have to be already in the blueprint book that contains hey this is working nice very cool very good all right more to the point where am i gonna put it since this is probably the only thing that's ever gonna consume them Except for a few mole items. No, it is literally the only thing that consumes them. Wow. Okay. Uh, I want it close to this build, obviously. Let's put it down here. Actually, I think we could put it anywhere because the... The build rate compared to the stack size, compared to the rate of consumption, uh, it's not going to be very often that we need a train load of that. Let's put it up here. And grab our scaffolding train. Ooh. Machine learning data makes a lot more sense when we can see the uh, see the icon properly. Looks like a bunch of nodes in like uh, machine learning, like AI, as one might expect, I suppose. I keep forgetting to put rail into this thing. No, I thought I did decide to put rail into this thing. We have researched uh, Magi. Oh, we found it. Magi. It is kind of pretty far away. It's stone. Uh, it's full of biters. And it's huge. Apart from the fact that stone core fragments actually raise an eyebrow for me in this playthrough, uh, that's not very interesting. I mean, not short, not short term anyway. Where's the radius? Oh, here it is. It is the largest, second largest uh, stone planet that we've found so far. Late game, I want a huge planet that is close to the interstellar map, regardless of how many biters we have to clear. Uh, but currently, if I was going to go for stone core fragments, I'd probably go here. Oh, I'd definitely go here. 0% uh, threat. Moderate radius. There's also Iridite. Uh, it's relatively close. So not as many crashed cargo rockets.
definitely something to consider after we go get uh, Immersite. I think we'll do that tomorrow, a couple of outposts. Infinite stone would make a significant difference to this build, this base so far. Alright, inactivity, 15 seconds. And now we place our blueprint again. I forgot to get the space manufactories. I'll grab them myself. Whoops. I think they're still in here? Yeah. Uh, we only needed four, right? Fantastic. We're still able to place signals rapidly enough to cause a bit of a slowdown. But my goodness, it is less bad since uh, since we upgraded our trains and we don't need as many. Unfortunately, we need one per resource with all of these uh, vanilla schedules to go through the space elevator. Uh, but other than that, we need far fewer trains to keep up with LTN. So every single train repathing, every... Every time we place a signal isn't as severe as it used to be. I need eight of these. I picked up eight. That was unfortunate. Most unfortunate. I think some of our... I think we missed some of these messages. Navigation satellite uh, found a planet from the research, because we were in the, the editor space. I hope it doesn't mean that we actually missed out on a planet being discovered here, but I'm thinking we probably just missed the notification and nothing else. Uh, I'm sure someone who's dug through the mod could figure that out. But yeah, we've done... I, I queued up like five zone discoveries, and I see only a couple of of planets revealed here. I also wouldn't have expected it to take that long. I'm pretty sure I queued up almost as many as we could fit here. Like, four or five, because we had two other researchers. Uh, what was I coming back for? space manufactories. Getting really close to the mall now. Alright, there's everything but chemical gel. Why chemical gel? We built that ages ago. There's no petroleum here? Products finished 107... Uh, 10,700. 11,000. Okay. Um, so it's definitely worked. Where's our petroleum? Do we have a train to bring us petroleum? Did we break that somehow? We're not actually short on petroleum, right? No. We're very much... We're very, very much not short on petroleum. Dardano? Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Petroleum is here. Uh, where is... I think I connected this wrong. Maybe when I updated it. Lubricant looks to be... Oh, there's no train limit here anyway. Is the train... It's working. We have that much demand for petroleum? 
This thing. Oh, what? What? Nope. 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 Well, there's your problem. Oh God! How many times did it go through the space elevator? How many space elevator cables did that cost us? Oh no. How many? How many? How many dozens of hours has it been doing this? Wait, 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 wait. Stop, stop, stop. No. Do, are you still petroleumless? Why are you like this? Because I clicked the wrong thing. God damn it. Uh... That's unfortunate. That's... that's unfortunate. There's no danger of running out of space elevator cables, is there? Because we messed up our beryllium or something? Holmium and heavy girder and aeroframe pole. And this is a super high priority. And it doesn't go through those poles very quickly. 21.6 per second. Well, it can go through them quickly, theoretically. Um, but I think we've got, like... We've literally got cables for many days. I think that'll be okay. So now we should have petroleum finding its way over here. Fantastic. There's our chemical gel. It will take... Uh, let's see. 64 per second. Um, it'll take 15 minutes. More or less. Before... This has a pickup before we can see our new build working. How much power do we have? All of it. I think I'd like to rush it a bit, even though it's going to be incredibly difficult for the petroleum train to keep up with this. Petroleum going into chemical gel, I remember being one of the nightmare resources to try to keep up with. That is a train load every... what? That's not a calculator. Uh, that is a train load every 2.23 minutes. Uh, what did we get? Gyarofen? It is too far away, rare metals, massively full of biters, moderate radius. Solar is almost exactly novice level. Not really interested in that. Oh. What? Oh. No, I'm going to run out of speed modules. Uh, you must be joking. Wait, there's more speed modules back here. Has that train been running empty? Yes, yes it had. Because I misclicked or misread or missed one little setting. Uh, it had just been touring, going up and down the space elevator indefinitely. Oh, that's actually all of our speed modules that we had up here. I'm going to have to go get some more. Pretty sure I can't even finish this one build with that. Looks like supplying the new builds with materials is becoming the next challenge. Uh, I mean, yeah, we're getting there. Especially because we ran out of oil on our little outpost planets. Like... I knew the oil would run out eventually, but I'm actually shocked at how quickly... I mean, some planet, or at least one planet, we are literally out of oil. 
um, that we were counting on for the liquid rocket fuel to get our stuff back. I would honestly recommend going, even if you have to send ice, uh, going for water separation to make rocket fuel with ammonia. So then you're basically just paying iron plate and water to get your liquid, uh, liquid rocket fuel. Alpha and Nanas, good to see you again. Well, welcome, hope you're doing well. Uh, what was I doing? Grabbing speed modules. Can you rush to spaceships to avoid oil slash fuel problems? I was trying to. Uh, but we ran out. That's, that's how it is. I, I don't actually need prod modules in space. That's not how that works. Uh, let's take some more efficiencies and a whole lot of speeds. Whole lot of speed. I mean speed modules. Up we go. To try and force this build to catch up faster. Okay. Negative 80% power consumption. Negative 70% is fine. That is over 1,000 petroleum per second. So we need the train to make its rounds in uh, less than a minute. Which I th think it maybe can. Because I've got the pickup for the petroleum gas quite close. But it does have to make some arbitrary... Well, wait, I could probably add... Let me think about this for a sec. There's only If there's only one train that ever comes here, it's probably fine if instead of sitting at the depot, it's just sitting here trying to empty itself, right? But that should be fine. So we don't need a train limit on this, ever. Period. Um, set train limit... Don't set train limit. And just skip the depot stop. Uh, when you come out of the space elevator. On the, no on the upward side. This will work until we have two trains running petroleum. So through the space elevator it goes, with 60k petroleum, oh, what the, what, 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 why are you like this? Uh, should I just disable train limit? I don't think anyone's ever coming here except for you. Okay. It is getting a lot of petroleum up the elevator quite quickly. Go to the depot, wait and see if this has... I, I could... Well, no, we need to go to the depot to at least refuel sometimes. Uh, go to the depot, refuel, make sure this has... Uh... Well, no, I was going to say make sure there's 60k here, but I guess if you're the only one, it's fine. And then straight... Yeah, I think the train limit of one. Oh, because these things get, like, split in two as they go through the space elevator. That's why. I bet if we had a train limit of two, it wouldn't have done the jolty thing. Are trains blocked up there? No, they're fine. There was just a bit of traffic. Alright, that's, that's moving petroleum pretty quickly, I think. Um, and the trains are actually keeping up with the build, just barely. Cool, cool, cool. 
How long would it take to get 200k? Why do I keep thinking that's the calculator? Uh, it would take 919 seconds, 15 and a half minutes. That's a bit better than taking 16 minutes to get one train load. Jay, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Alright, did we get to see petroleum find its way over here yet? We did. Beautiful. Magic mirrors are getting made. Oh, I didn't put a little scaffolding here. It looks tacky. I think I'll just... Uh, where was it? Put this here. And the... The next time the train goes past here, the bots will probably jump out and build it. So we'll just have that happen straight away. To me, it makes sense to have the elevator supporting pipes to pump fluids up or down if it can handle the weight of a train. Yeah, of course. But I guess it'd be a bit less gamey that way. I don't know. Should we do some more uh, zone discovery? Okay. I bet even if it was bugged and we didn't actually like get zone discovery done, if I'm in the editor when it happens, um, it probably just means I would have to do it again, which would cost a bit more, but whatever. It's not that grand of a cost, ultimately. Uh, so, we have... Oh, 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 I was just about to check. Special mirrors incoming? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Do we have a train load of X-ray observation frames? We do. That probably means we've already got a million of them uh, over wherever they go. Here? Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. This was waiting on blanks ages ago. We still... Make me a liar. I was going to say we still don't have the advanced circuits caught up. But we do. We got blanks. Maybe the Spellevator has launch assist, like an aircraft carrier? Interesting. Have you seen the Christmas postcard the Factorio team designed with a sneak preview of some icons of the coming game expansion? I did not, actually. Uh, NX Demon, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Please tell me that's going where I think it is. It is... Yes. Wait, we already had blanks here, or at least some. Oh no. We're actually almost at a train load of infrared. That's over here, isn't it? Yeah. This is Yeah, we're almost uh we're almost done with UV, or at least one train load, I mean. And now we can actually microwave? That's waiting on Cold, super cold. That's going to be a little while at this rate. It's in the Friday Fun Facts 372. Nice. How close are you to ships? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, we need Astro 3. It's technically, we only need Astro 3, but to get, like, the bare minimum extra research I want for spaceships... We need uh, Ion Engine, which is Energy 2, which we've got. Um, material 1, Material 2 gets us, I think, plus 300 Spaceship Integrity. Wait, no, I meant to say Material 2. So Material as well, and then Material 2. Um, I'll be happy to make the first generation of spaceships on that research. Uh, significant data is needed to get energy science, but I'm doing sig data 
but for our first iteration of seek data i want astro material and energy insight and if we're going straight to astro 3 i want to do the third iteration uh unless we need better computers that's energy 3 um i th think i might have to go a higher tier of computer if I want the more efficient insight. No? No, we can do this on tier 1. Nice. And I can already... I already have the recipe, actually. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, where be... Oh, here it is. There we go. So we're going to do... All three catalogs um, before we get our uh, Astro Insight. We've already set up to get... Um... Actually, I, uh, yeah, no, we've I crammed in the Material Insight over here. We've already set this up to generate Material Insight once we have broad catalogs. Uh, I haven't done the data cards for the broad catalogs. I have done the broad catalog build itself. So we've done most, but we've done material one. We just need the data cards for material two. We've done energy two. And we've done astro. Have we done astro one through three? No, I don't have the broad catalogs. Uh, I've done the data cards for... I think Astro 1 and 2, right? What, what, what goes into the broad catalogue? Radio wave, gamma ray... We've got those. Uh, we need... Dark matter and negative pressure. Okay. We're closer than we thought, because I didn't realize, or I forgot, radio and gamma ray go into comprehensive catalog. Um, so we just need dark matter, negative pressure, and we need to actually make the tier 3 and 4 catalog build somewhere. Uh, not to mention the tier 1 and 2, but that's literally just copy, paste, change the recipe. All those interdependencies makes my brain melt. Just build it one little brick at a time. Is how that goes. It is many bricks, but you can just focus on one at a time. Especially if you, you know, reduce them to just dis discrete chunks like this. One recipe, three input, uh, four inputs, one output. And then forget about it and take uh, blank observation frames for granted when you think about how to build the next build. Just as I took these inputs for granted when I made this build. Okay, that's actually perfect timing. I think that'll be where we finish up today. I'd love to keep going, but I would just burn myself out and not be as good tomorrow. Uh, so, let's see who we're going to raid. Maybe... MP Shenanigans? Cyclomactic is raiding. Uh, is raiding? Is streaming. Um... Uh... I think this is a rare opportunity to raid one of the Factorio friends. Let's go. There's also not that many other options. I mean, there are, but they're all sort of beginners. Not that I don't give beginners a chance half the time. Alright, let's drop in on Cyclo. Happy New Year, Crazy Heather. Take care. Thanks for stopping by. 
Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord or the Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. We'll be continuing this tomorrow. Uh, I'll either be smashing out the last few data cards as quick as I can, and or there's a couple of outposts. Uh, it would actually be our first interstellar outposts, but we'd still be using cargo rockets. I really want to put that off if I can. We're, so, we're kind of so close to spaceships, kind of. Take care, Evil Plow, Enix, uh, and everyone else as well. Happy New Year to you as well. And uh, stay safe. See you tomorrow, guys. Just a bit. Just a bit. Whoa!